Good evening, folks, and welcome to this friendly conversation between Matt Forney and Jim Goad. Uh, I've been asked to host a platform for them to have a debate on. Now, I'll tell you my personal opinion, my hope, that I think there's some apologies that should be made on both sides. I'd like to see them shake hands and uh, make friends again. We'll see whether or not that happens. My goal here is to simply provide a platform where both of them will have their have their say, because I know both these men in real life. I have respect for both of them. And just tr I'm just trying to moderate things. So don't expect too much from me. Uh, we are going to start with Forney. Forney, could you please tell us how this whole argument began? It was an article that you wrote, wasn't it? It was not an article. It was a live stream from about three months ago, I believe. Um, Jim here wrote an article for Tacky's Magazine, uh, in which he criticized the alt-right for being too moralistic in its den denunciations of degeneracy. And I took exception to that because, to me, his argument seemed to be like a, an intellectualized version of Mr. Mackey's, don't take political sides, okay? You know? And I explained in the stream that the... In order to fix the problems of society, the the what Jim calls the moralism is absolutely necessary. Uh, that is uh, my argument distilled. There were there were some other points flanging off it, but that's the core essence of it. Well, I mean, what is the alt right, Matt? Number one, here's the thing. I've I'll go get into a little history here. Matt, you you become a Christian? I am more open to Christianity. Yes. Open to Christianity. So you believe in the Christian God? I've considered, I, I've realized the value of Christianity. That's a good way of putting it. I'm not definite on many such, uh, many do questions you, yet. Do you need to believe in things that make sense? I need to believe in make things that make sense, yes. Okay. Why would a perfect God get angry? This is a, a question I've asked everyone. They attack me. Because here's the and. I think one of the things that bothered me about the podcast was you seem to think I was acting in bad faith or whatever it seems. And, I, and notice I always catch it with seems because I don't know what's in people's minds. It'd be nice to see you, but <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Uh, just well, I, My whole thing with Christianity, I was, I was raised under it. Let's just clarify this for the audience. For yes. me, have a webcam. He yes. hasn't had a webcam in a long time, and we usually don't use webcams at all. For I've just yes, been this. accused of being a Jew. Oh, great. Welcome. Anyway. But you know what, Matt? I believe you sincerely believe what you're saying, although I've seen you morph like a chameleon over the years. But so I might question whether you actually have any sincere beliefs or you follow what you believe is relevant. My whole thing with Christianity is absolutely sincere. I was raised Catholic, 12 years of Catholic school. I had this radical conversion around age 14. There was a nun in uh, freshman year of high school where she was uh, talking about Our Lady of Fatima making all these uh, prophecies about the end of the world. And it sounded pretty terrifying. So I thought, well, God, you know, I, I better read the Bible. And there was one Easter weekend, my freshman year of high school, I read the Bible. I was like, holy fuck, you have to be a fanatic. And I became a believer. I was such a believer that from like age 14 to 16, now, now think about this, age 14 to 16, I jerked off once. So I was pretty hardcore. Even the nuns at school thought I was maybe taking a little too far. But I do talk, kind, tend to take things to the extreme. The problem was the same problem I had with leftism and the same problem I had with Santa Claus. I kept reading the Bible, and there were things that just didn't make sense. Uh, one thing, I, I guess maybe I'm a little OCD. I got obsessed with three different Gospels that talked about the unpardonable sin. If you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, which theologists, theologians thought uh, meant attributing acts of God to Satan, you never get forgiven. You go to hell forever. And hell, according to the Bible, seems like a literal thing, literal place that you go to. But if you call on the name of the Lord, you'll should be saved. That's Romans 10, 13. What's happening? I say, fuck you, Holy Spirit. Save me, Lord. That's insoluble. Nothing, <laughs> those cancel each other out. In the Old Testament, Leviticus, repeatedly God says, and this is me being autistic, actually taking the Bible at its word, because I've heard people use autistic as in arguments as someone who's beating them in an argument. But autistic in the sense, God's saying this law is eternal. It will never be revoked. This is another one, you know, about slaughtering pigs or whatever. Never be revoked. Then along comes the New Testament and it's revoked. Did God lie? Then he's not perfect. Did he not know it was going to be revoked? Then he's not God. 
And I keep, kept coming up with this question about why would a perfect God get angry? Not when uh, examining Christianity, but Islam. So there was a lot of, I mean, during the Bush years, Islam was kind of the big scare and Islam's still a huge issue, probably huger than it was then because whatever's going on in the Middle East isn't the problem. It's Muslims coming here. I'm reading the Quran. I was like, why the fuck is he pissed off so much? It doesn't make any sense. God runs the table. He's like, he's the casino owner. Yes. He creates everything. He allows everything to happen. Uh, does he not expect it? Um, could he have prevented it? So I'd like, I'd, sincerely, this is not trying to be cool or ironic. That's, I think you pull that little string and the entire sweater of Christianity and mono, Western monotheism falls apart. Okay. So, but, but, one, one thing I, I need to clarify, because I always get accused of being an atheist. I'm not. That's just as dumb. I, but, think the, I think the bravest position is to say, I don't know. What does any of this have to do with the issue at hand? Well, I think the, it went to Christianity, and that's where the, a lot of the moralism of the... And it's, I didn't attack the alt-right. I attacked kind of the trad guys. Well, wait, a sec. Most of this moralism is... Like, first of all, there have been way too many arguments in this corner lately between Protestants and Catholics. Like, all these completely pissy, irrelevant, uh, distracting arguments. Uh, on the whole, the fact is that, that heathens and Protestants and Catholics and Hindus all agree on the basics of natural law. Everybody acknowledges natural law. And I think the moralism of the alt-right, natural law sums up. Ancient Greeks would largely agree with the morality being pushed by the alt-right. Well, the ancient Greeks didn't last either. I think the problem is, and, and I've, maybe this is Nietzsche, and I've read a little bit of Nietzsche. I've read H.L. Mencken's Guide to Nietzsche. It's the public moralism. It's the chest thumping and the finger pointing. Over my life, and once you, you open your ears and your eyes, you get attuned to it. The people that are thumping their chest usually are bastards, and they're compensating, and they're projecting, and they're trying to harm someone else. Now, in most moral systems, I mean, I think I'm, for the most part, yeah, I fuck up, but I'm an ethical person. In my experience, the ones that are up on the, the soapboxes, pounding their chest and pointing fingers at others, usually are bastards and nasty. And they're usually trying to get other people in trouble and get them harmed. Because if you can tag someone as evil, you can fucking kill them. In yeah, most moral, hold on, in most moral systems, murder is considered wrong, but not if you do it to an evil person. I, I would consider this some of the remnants of Puritanism in the United States. Well, it's, you're anti-Puritic. It's well, pure, it, the Puritan streaks in the United States are very deeply embedded, and they are something that come up on the left and the right. I got this in Catholicism like 12 years. I got the same shit, maybe hard, more hardcore than any Protestants I've ever But well, you went to the American Catholic Church, correct? Yeah. Then it would be also infected with Puritanism, same way that multiculturalism infects Canada. I don't, I don't know. I think the Catholics came later and probably evolved in their own communities, so I'm not sure. It's moralism in general. I, I, ethical behavior, I think, is almost separate from moralism. One is done for a social purpose and to as, achieve social status on someone else's neck. A acting ethically, those people, the most, the best people I've ever known, they never get publicly moral because they don't need to. I think it's it's compensatory. And at this point, calling someone a degenerate, it's, it's about on the level of calling someone a racist. It's meaningless and it's a way to make yourself look good. But I'm open to any other argument. So are you angry at Forney because he used the term? Period? Well, he, he called me stupid and he called me a coward. And I'm not neither stupid nor a coward. I fucking, <laughs> I've never backed down from anything. Uh, stupid? Well, I think I'm defensive about that. I was explaining this to you last night, Davis. As everyone knows, I've come from a really fucked up family. And my siblings were out by the time I was six. Brother got murdered a couple years after that. Uh, the other brother and sister went elsewhere. So I was pretty much an only child. The only thing I had as an identity was I was smart. They told me I was extremely smart when I was like, when I was a kid. And I usually like to prove that to people who call me stupid. So that, that kind of has been an inspiration here too. The thing, here's what I'm talking about history. <laughs> Matt, I believe, Matt, Matt, am I wrong? Uh, correct me here. Uh, when you went on your Syracuse to Portland thing to find yourself or to become a writer way back, you did reach out and email me. Yes. Jim, I was going to come into this being insulting and people who know me know I can be very insulting when I want to be. Yeah. But right now I'm going to offer you an olive branch. 
about a couple of years ago, I debated a guy by the name of Beardson. Beardson. Hey, hold on, hold on one second. Hey, hey, Beckloff, I didn't say atheist. I already made that clear. Don't be dumb. Go ahead. Yeah, I debate. I debated this guy named Beardson Beardley. If you want to find it, you can just. Oh, Google I heard it. I heard it. it. Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm telling the audience. Okay, I debated this guy named Beardson Beardley, and we've since buried the hatchet. Things are cool between us. But he said something during that debate that uh, I was thinking about here. He said that the mere fact that I he got me to agree to a debate means that he quote fucking won because he at the you know in the context of that debate I was the big e celeb and he was the up and coming you know guy who was not as well known so by getting me to agree to a appear on a stage with him in equal footing I was giving him credibility and an audience that he otherwise would not have had Jim. You've done the exact same thing here. The only difference is, is that I didn't even, I didn't contact you. You demanded to have this stream. Okay. No matter what happens tonight, Matt, you already Matt, be lost. Care, care, you lost Matt. this. You lost this by okay, virtue of even demanding it. Let's get into the history. Well, you so know, what I, you know what you're so good I, at, Matt. I'm you know what you're good at. I'm not you're, good at you're good at taking other people's ideas, just like I'm, you did with Pearson. I'm you're done. At, I, I haven't offered the olive branch yet. <laughs> the olive branch is simply this. Oh, if we agree I, I, to end the end of debate now, and then Reed can delete it afterwards, I won't shit talk you. I won't criticize you. I won't even mention your name anymore, and we can just go away peacefully. No bad blood. We don't have to like each other. We can just go away. Because Matt, guess what? Do you think, do you think like, the audience would be very disappointed? Your reputation right. has already been diminished by virtue of you agreeing to this. Well, okay, I'm, that, that shows I'm, that you have I'm, low self esteem, Matt. That shows you have I'm, low self esteem. Because I'm, if I'm punching down, that shows you have low self-esteem, which I agree with, and you should. If you want to get into insulting, if you think I'm afraid of being insulted by you and getting into an insult war, you're wrong. I'd like to have a nice discussion, but I don't think that your would look messages good for you. and your public behavior say otherwise. My and public the fact behavior. that you're even here. Again, dude, you are you're the famous one in this equation. I, I don't care about fame, Matt. I don't care about trends like you. Don't care about fame. I don't care about relevancy. Like, I don't care about that. You talk about an off fame an awful lot. You reminding me that I'm a nobody. You keep talking about when how did I say you were no, When did I say you were nobody? When did I say you were uh, nobody? I admitted that I was a nobody, and you said in private messages, at least you admit you're a nobody. Well, yeah, so, okay. You offered, and I'm like, well, okay. I didn't call you. I, I have I have introspection, Jim. I'm I'm introspective. <laughs> Yes, you're I'm very self-aware, Matt. This. You're very self-aware. You're yeah, aware. Self -aware you're aware of how it looks when you pose as a pickup artist. You're extremely self-aware of That's how it looks for people. That's a lie, Jim. I have never once claimed to be a pickup artist, and you claim to have followed my my career. I've apparently been living rent-free in your head for years. And, and that's you're stealing someone else's idea. So, so we can get into the history. I'd like to go through this because this is why I it's find it's not an idea. It's a fact. Is, oh, you're living rent-free. Matt, you live in my head as a source of endless comedy. And that's doesn't matter. Even... I'm still in your head. Okay. Okay. Well, I shouldn't even to... be a Matt, don't I interrupt even me. Let me talk. Davis, mind, Davis okay? can I can I talk? Do you... Davis? Davis? All right. Go can right I? Ahead. Okay. So I'm the one you're living in my mind. Okay, let's have I ever written a word about you, Matt? Except these you tweets over the last week, over the last week, any anywhere, ever. You admitted that you've known about me for years. You admitted well, that you've been making fun of me privately for years. Right. Because I search my name and I find you writing about me. Any other questions? Have I ever written a word about you? Have you noticed that people like Jordan Peterson and Mike Cernovich don't do what you're doing? They don't randomly engage people who are much smaller than them. They don't hunt down their critics online constantly. I don't you, like Mike Cernovich or Jordan Peterson, so I'm not sure where you're going with this. Can we get into the history of why I find that you have violated the most fundamental rule of the internet by agreeing to this? It's called don't feed the trolls. I don't you're care about internet rules or any of that. I don't care about memes. I care about what makes you seem sense. You care an awful fun. lot because you've been... Uh, people have been uh, dunking on you the entire week, and you have been personally responding to them and uh, stalking. Uh, to, them. to stalking? No, it's your Glan friend has been coming onto my SoundCloud and leaving comments. And now, nope, 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 chubby I've got, friend, I've got, I've got, I've got the stats, bro. You have been listening to his podcast for two months. Matt, do you want to put up ten? No, uh, do you want to put up ten thousand bucks over whether he left comments on me or? 
Because uh, no, I, I, his- looked, I looked at. I have not been listening. I list, watched his page because he liked my ex-co-hosts. It looks like he took his side, and that was the only thing. I've listened to maybe three total minutes, and that made me <laughs> his his number one user. Yes, I'm and- obsessed with you, Matt. So, have I ever written a word about you? Because uh, we'll get into everything you've written about me and said about me, Matt. How about that? I've got the screen share right here. You were listening to him back in June? Yeah. You, yeah, because he followed I, Keith He because he took Keith's side, and that's why. And, I don't and, think and, he's and, ta- and you thought that was important enough to listen to his uh, podcast, oh, about six times? I l- visited uh, the page to see what Keith was doing. Yeah, and that's you and, and totally you've listened to it like like a six times, according I haven't, to me. We, you want to put up a polygraph and 10,000 bucks? Because here's the thing, Matt. Answer the question. Have I ever written a word about you? It doesn't matter whether you have. The fact that okay, you are let's admitted, get in, let's know get about into, me. I know about you because you fucking reached out to me. You didn't answer that question. Did you send me I have never once email? reached out to you. You, you have sent been me a letter. And me. That's something else you lied about, by the way. We you can take Okay, I was warned that you will lie and you will believe it, Matt. Let's go through what, through what you've written about me because you can't cite anything I've ever written about you. Let's go through what you've written about me. Now, okay? your, your claim you made was that I contacted you to, like, back in 2012 when I was hitchhiking to ask you for advice. I remember it, and I remember thinking I didn't answer. That's all. You didn't. You're, you're I did not do that. I, I have never. You're, well, you're, I was told that was told the truth. private conversation, it's when you have leached out to me. The first you're, time that happened that. was three years ago. When you offered me a free cop, you, you slid into my Twitter DMs because you were name searching yourself. Then I you, name search I told me to email you. I did, and you offered me a free copy of the gigantic book of sex. Let's let's I, let's ask Twitter, this one more time, man. Have you ever have you ever seen me write a word about you? It doesn't matter. You're, li- okay. you're lying about the fact that you because I remember that's the first time I heard about. How about you? you? Okay. I got a screen share. Matt, uh, Matt, I got a screen please, please stop interrupting because I got to get into it. what you've written about me. Well, just just like, aren't we all in agreement that you haven't written about Forney? There's there's no disagreement there. Matt has this thing where he's written tons about me. He did a ninety minute podcast about me, but he wants to project that on me being oh, obsessed I, I've with him. you many a time. You're promising. Sorry? Of course, he's written about you. Right. Okay. So don't. He's written. Here's all the shit he's written about me. I've never. I've only found him to be a joke. Okay. So if he wants to be like a girl, oh, you're the one obsessed with me. Go ahead, Matt. Here's what you've written about, and you've written a lot of positive things about me, none of which I'm here to dispute. So I'm, I'm because they're your all, head because they're, because because they're all back true. Back and all this. Because they're all true. Please don't interrupt, man. You're not charming. Just stay back and listen. You started your shit, <laughs> your shit magnet, Dustin. Jim Goat is a man. I, that's a very cackly laugh. Jim Goat is a man I admire and desperately don't want to become. Where's there's the lie? Matt, well, there's. I'm telling you, there's no danger of you becoming me. You'll never become talented. You'll never become funny. And a woman will never fall in love with you. You <laughs> cited me in a Sweden speech. You, you, uh, you were calling me earlier. You said I was an unfuckable ogre, and you were <laughs> contacting my ex-girlfriends to find dirt on me. I said a woman will never fall in love with you. What's wrong with that? <laughs> because you disproved it by claiming that you con- contacted an ex-girlfriend of mine. None of that- them have ever fa- claimed to be in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got messages that from her that claim otherwise. I've got an entire dossier. That's fine. I don't think there's a danger of a woman ever falling in love with you, Matt. Also, go ahead. You're a virgin. No woman loves you. It's like you're you're a virgin. It's like I'm not a virgin. Like this is a really cheap internet argument. Right. Okay. Fine. Can I get? Let me go through the things he said, and then we'll we'll get on. Okay. They seem to like to why, and I'll, I'll explain why I find Matt so unintentionally funny. Okay, but I'm just saying, like this is that right there is not a valid. Uh, it, it's one of those those internet bait arguments but which which what are we talking about he's saying uh i'm obsessed with him i can prove that he's the one that's been talking about me and i didn't get involved until he did a 90 minute thing about me you were just saying no woman will ever fall in love with you well yes that forney's dated a number of women oh well they weren't in love with you well where's the gold medal that you get when a woman actually falls in love with you there's no objective measure of that it's it's one of those bait arguments and there's no objective measure of whether or not he's going to become me either. I'm, I'm just responding. So he has on his links, it's a blog and site that he visits regularly. Just like, can you hear uh, Goat, Matt? I cannot, I cannot hear him. He appears to have dropped off. Okay, so... Jim's frozen. Uh, apparently, apparently the gods have spoken. All right, Matt. So, 
earlier, Jim Goad was arguing that more moral puritanicalism, he was arguing, I believe, that the alt-right is puritanical and that they're just using morality to be dicks the same way that SJWs do. Uh, don't you think he had a bit of a point there? Can you hear me now? Oh, okay. Okay, we're okay. back. I just asked Forney a question. I, I could hear myself. I didn't freeze. I don't know what was going on. That's okay. Listen, I just asked Forney a question to clarify on one of your earlier points, so I'm going to give Forney the chance to speak now. Um, could you repeat that, David? You kind of you kind of faded out there. I don't know if my connection is the best either. My mic's being terrible. Okay, so Goat earlier was arguing that the uh, the moralism, the puritanicalism within the alt right boils down to this desire to bully people the same way we see it coming out of the SJW. Not bully, but uh, no, because sometimes people who moralize are kind of cowards. They want mobs. Oh, yeah, people who use morality to be assholes. And yes, yes. I, exactly. You, you get that. There are people in the alt-right that do that. So where does morality play into things, Matt? Morality is the necessary bedrock for a society. I mean, in the article... Jim brings up the point that uh, he talks about transsexuality. And he says, don't call transsexual degenerates. Call them fucked up. Now, okay, we'll, we'll go back. Uh, Jim, what is your opinion on homosexuality? Do you think it's wrong? Do you think it's natural? Do you think it's okay? Do you not care? I think generally, I think the rates of being molested as kids are so high among gay people that I think that's a factor. I don't think you're born gay. I think it might have something to do with sexual imprinting as a result of uh, being molested as a kid. But uh, what, what what's the what what do you believe the role of homosexuality should be in society? Do you think it should be allowed? Do you think it should be banned, discouraged? I think uh, they're actually sort of an elite. Uh, they make more money. They're I think they're overrepresented in creative and intellectual fields. Um, unless they're spreading unless they're spreading disease. I'm not I'm not cool about the disease spreading. And and I did an article about that when Charlie Sheen got uh, HIV. It's like I think uh, the average gay male dies 12 years younger. That's a problem. And I, of course, I laugh at the idea that uh, it's something to be celebrated. These people are dying. Well, and I think they are fucked up. Well, the thing yeah. the thing is... Do I need to call people fags all the time? No, that, that suggests something else. Well, the problem is, you attack transsexuality in that article. Yeah, I think they're but delusional. I, yeah, and I think they I think they have a neurological... I don't think that's a result of molestation. I think that's a neurological problem. But on what basis can you claim that homosexuality isn't a mental disorder? Okay. Well, homosexuality is by call, definition if, unnatural. Well, it, well, it it's occurs. It's highly in dangerous. Like, it's it, one of the most dangerous on. activities a human being can engage in. If it's highly unnatural, it's why are there doctor. like four hundred uh, like species that practice it? Well, you think we? Do you think humans are just the, exactly the same as animals? Do you believe that there's I nothing? I think uh, like, a little smarter. I think I think we are evolved from animals. Yes. I don't believe we well, have souls or anything like that. And you well, definitely you have the most soulless eyes I've ever seen. So if anyone doesn't have a soul, it's you. Uh, that's with the grade school insults. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Jim. Tell me the thing, Even, Matt. We, the thing. The thing. Is, you haven't explained why God will get angry, but that's okay. Tell me the th Get to the thing. Yeah, go with the, the theologist if you want theology. The problem is that homosexuality and all, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot condemn one but not the other. Okay, human beings. Yeah, are They're two different things. They're two standard. different phenomena. We're, human be beings are not the same as animals. We have consciousness, which is something that cannot exist in a two plus two emc equals squared world. Consciousness. Yeah, animals is don't have. Is animals aren't fall. conscious. Animals aren't conscious. Is that what you're saying? Animals. Well, can't. you and I are thinking, and well, I don't know if you're thinking, but okay. I mean, I can I can see you thinking and giving ideas, and we're communicating. We live beyond the world of pure instinct. Animals, they eat, they shit, they sleep, and that's it. Uh, there are some flashes of intelligence in, like, dolphins and whatnot. And I'm saying we cannot if, – if we are the most evolved form of life on this planet, if we are the most highest uh, of these species on this planet, we can't just say – Oh, we can't just compare ourselves to some fucking dogs fucking each other and be like, yeah, that, that's okay. Then we can just, you know, we'll do that, okay? Man, uh, if you that's, have where the, that's where the term degenerate comes from. Hold on, Hold on Degenerate on. implies that you've degenerated from a state of higher state. Matt, well, this, this higher state, what I think morality is, I, I think it's a function of evolution. Go ahead, Davis. 
Go ahead, Davis. And I don't, I think you're letting him talk more. Let me make my point. Go ahead, Davis. There's a species of beetle in Australia that is highly sexually attracted to the green beer bottles they used to have there. And it was going extinct because it would keep trying to mate with the beer bottles. But there are like, I think, 400, 500 species that aren't going extinct that have, but, you know, but so the huh? point Matt is trying to make is that this animal's instincts got short circuited by an artificial stimulus. I think fucking green bottles might be a problem. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me make my point. Please let me make my point. We are animals who have evolved this. Finish. Everyone's, everyone's talking. It's done. It's nearly You're done. done. His point is that we are self-reflective beings that can change our behavior. I look at my dog's behavior. I think he has a conscience. He knows when he's being bad. Right, he he reacts to love. Right. When we recognize that something we're doing is not productive or conducive to our survival, like eating a lot of chocolate or homosexuality or having sex with green bottles, we as higher beings ought to change that. Now, please go ahead. Uh, he's still muted. And for the record, I was not speaking. Yeah, but, all that. Uh, Jim, you have to unmute yourself. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know how that got clicked. Okay. I think we are animals that have evolved to the point where we evolve these silly ideas. And I think these ideas come from the fact that we are animals. We have evolved what morality is generally because it's never applied across the board. When the Arabs fight the Christians, they both think they're the good guys. So what's the constant? Oh, when we live, we're the good guys. When they die, they're the bad guys. And that's the only constant. It is tied to the survival instinct. So it is an animal thing. But to think it's this Aristotelian universal where, or where homosexual, like some of them don't die 12 years younger. Some of them make a lot of money. Some of them are innovators. I mean, who was it? Alan Turing? He world won part of World War II. Yes. I think and they're valuable in some way. Isn't Turing uh, the guy who was is, forced to be chemically castrated by the government? Yeah, he was. And if Matt, Matt, if you're against gayness, why did you walk around with no clothes on in front of Edwin and his friend when it was too hot in Chicago and you couldn't wear any clothes? And they were what? freaked out by it. What the hell are you talking about? That's what about? Edwin Oslin said, that you walked around naked and they were really freaked out because you're so fat that you got too hot in the summertime and you would walk around naked and insist on it. Any that is that? the most ridiculous lie I've ever heard. You think I made that up? I know. Well, you made up the fact that I contacted you back in 2012. And I can I have, I can have prove Matt, that. Matt, let's, let's, take, let's put it to a lie detector test, Matt. Are you, you willing to how do about, that? How about I just screen share it? It'll be faster, Okay. Because I don't delete emails. Everyone who knows me knows this. You can, you can lie if about that. I'll do. It, I'll do. I've written, uh, I, I have remember written, it distinctly. If you, if I know you, it's a hurt your ego that your hero doesn't like you, but Matt, that's what the that's what's going on here. Dude, I don't care. Okay, you and I'm going to prove that. Why, I don't why care. would you do a not? You can't prove that. You can't prove what's in your heart. Are you that dumb that you think no, you can prove what I can you're prove feeling? An email record. No, you can't because you could have this is, deleted, deleted some of it, Matt. How about you prove it then, okay? You I, have I an argument. If you remember this so clearly, you've got an uh, I remember it distinctly. Why, why would that be so embarrassing to you? How, okay, why let's put it this way. Open let's let's even drop that. I'm, you will open up your email inbox and share it. Because I'm showing mine right now, and you can see right here, the only email conversation about, uh, we ever had is right here from 2015. If you have an email, Jim... And you clearly remember it, so I assume you look I back. I clearly remember it. Why would I lie about it? It's not, it's not even, it's not even that damning. Well, sure. can, can you get him to shut up a little bit? He's, he's shouting, Davis. I'm trying to have a rational conversation, but he's getting upset. Here's the no, thing. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, saying screen, I'm saying screen share your e inbox. I, I, so my computer email. may have died, and that's not enough. I will take a lie detector test. I don't know why it's so humiliating that you reach it, because I remember this. Why would I remember I don't understand it? why you felt the need to lie about something so petty and inconsequential. And you know what's funny? You got... You got offended when I, I think he froze again. Uh, Davis, are you there? He froze. I, I'm not hearing you. Keep going, Matt. Okay. Uh, here's, here's what I'm saying. Uh, when I, when Jim angrily reached out to me early this week, demanding that I appear on his podcast and he would tear me a new one. Oh, you mean I the one where no. you, you've liked every single episode and you're the only person who ever well, liked, ever liked every I've single liked episode? You've managed to prove I've liked the podcast. Way to go. Anyway, you, and when I said... So uh, I'm I obsessed said, with you because you've fucking stalked and listened to and liked every one of my podcasts. I got, I've never yeah. listened to one of yours, but hey, except that one because my dude, name was... Dude, like, dude, dude. I, over the weekend when you angrily demanded I appear on your angry, podcast... You were the angriest, bitterest, to. weirdest guy in this entire scene, man. But go I, ahead. I you told you so I was going to be on your podcast because so you invented it to bitter. sell to make, out, make me look bitter. stupid. Make and out with me. Oh, make out. There you are. You're so gay. Petty. You're gay. You're gay. You admitted it. 
You're a homosexual. Good. I will take a lie detector test about that mail, but it's a distraction. Did you not write reviews of my books? Am I disconnected again? You've proven that I've written reviews of your books. Okay. Wow. Have I ever you, written you, a word about you? Detective Goat on the case. Well, you're, why, you're why citing you fucking emails. Go look for the FBI with that fucking uh, sleeping skills. Reviews of his books, correct? Yeah. I mean, uh, Matt, you're going to dispute that you've given a lot more public attention to me than I have to you. You're you've given a lot more that? mental attention to me, buddy. I have not. The only Matt, thing Matt, okay, just, by, oh, hold on a second, Matt. Ha, is the crystal ball that you use to read other people's minds, does that weigh 300 pounds too? Because you can't read my mind. I can only use you as a fucking, fucking joke. You, got, you, got you are a joke. Jokes, you're a running Seriously. joke. Seriously. You you're got, running joke. You can't read best, minds. It's a joke. You're best, so stupid. You think you can read this, minds. It's this fifth grade uh, mean you don't, You're not even. You're not even aware of yourself or how silly you look. Boomer, so you can't read my mind. You can't. Boomer, Matt, you've got the body of a 57 year old. I've got the yeah, body of a 30 year old. Guess what? Dude? Die of a heart attack people, in five years. People can become skinny, but an old fossil like you can't become young and relevant again. Oh, relevant again with the relevant. I don't care about popularity. You, you do to me about how like oh, you I, do. You know, I'm, you're more successful than me, you know. And and what? I'll when did I say that? When did, I say, that? When did you I say that? You were more successful back in the when 90s. did I say that? that? When you did I say it was more successful? Than you're, li you're lying. Back back you're in the lying. 90s. You're lying. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, okay, Jim. Okay, Jim. Let's 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 back up a bit. You have an. You got you. Your book, The Redneck Manifesto, was published by a New York publishing house. And right. Simon, that's a pretty big accomplishment. That's a yes, pretty. It was. That's objectively a big, pretty big accomplishment. Right. You were your friends I, with Matt. What don't you under, What don't you understand about? I don't care about popularity. It, you don't care about popularity, huh? That's yeah, why. When you're did, I, have, when did I ever say I was more else. popular? When did I ever say I was more well, popular than you? Davis, do you recall me ever saying that or using that as an argument? This is Matt's concern. Oh. I don't care about being more popular. I've never wanted to be popular. Privately, obviously, yeah. I know I don't network. No, you are a successful writer. Well, you I don't make. Do I make a point of that? You're the ones making a point of that, not me. Dude, dude, oh. and you also love talking about how other people have praised you. Like when I proposed, I proposed three moderators for this debate. Right. Uh, Davis, Luke Ford, and yes. Nick Fuentes, and you were like, "Well, Luke Ford has called me the best writer in America, and Fuentes thinks I'm a genius." You know, right? Like, no, no, so call me brilliant. And the reason, don't interrupt me, on your podcast, too. Uh, uh, Davis. Can you be a little? Because I'll st just start shouting too, and then it'll be nothing. The th reason oh, I said that, Matt, can you can you take me at my word here, Matt? Because I think I found in my history, people who think other people are lying all the time are projecting. The reason the reason I brought the no, uh, you're saying, you've been repeatedly calling Matt Forney a liar. Well, he because this is why he's saying you said that to say you're famous. No, the reason I said the stop, 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 stop. Let me talk. Let me talk. The reason. Let me say the reason I said that. Stop interrupting you, little baby. Let me talk about objective facts here. That in you said he emailed you in 2012. For yes. No, oh, I didn't. Here's my email account. Well, then uh, you could have deleted shit. That's not proof of anything. I'll, I'll either find it or I'll take a lie detector test. Next subject. He's written a lot about me. Okay. The reason I said positive. He's hold on. Criticisms. He's a fan of yours. We That's fine. Let me let me talk about why I mentioned Luke Ford and Nick. It wasn't to blow me up. It was to say that they might be biased in my favor. I know you're his buddy, so I was being as fair as I could. Do you understand that now, Matt? I could I could uh, make the counter argument that you chose him so you could w whine and bitch after I push your shit in that he was biased against what's you. You're already the, doing what's that. What's with the gay analogies again? More. Why is it all about ass sex with you? You're the one who fucked dudes, dude. Don't ask fucked, me. I never fucked a dude. I got a blowjob. You're a fucking liar. You admitted this in shit, Mike, Matt. I never said okay. I fucked a guy, Matt. Oh, here's the quote, dude. Page Where I fucked a guy? Fucked a guy? Fucked of a teenage guy? homo experiences. Yeah, I'm fucked a guy. Where did I say I fucked a guy? You said smattering of teenage homo experiences. Nothing to say about fucking a guy. Blowjob. Dude. You're, you're the one always talking about flags. You're the one walking around as an adult. Here, okay? <laughs> if you have homo, if you get to homo experiences, you lose. Tell him you to lose. Stop it doesn't matter what the topic is. Tell him to stop you lose. Y Good day, sir. Is he quitting? No, you lose. If you think that's the thing that makes someone lose, go nurse well, that already, delusion. I already said but you lost by delusion. virtue of showing up. You can say it because it protects your ego, Matt. No, I'm I don't saying think the it rest of the world is. You should you be can't prove it. Someone you of your statue it. should be ignoring me. My statue? Your statue. Oh, your statue. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, writer man. The point is that the I should not be you. important to you. Yet here you are demanding to b take up my valuable time. Oh, your valuable, your valuable time. Telling I'm lies about down. me, contacting my exes. No, you're you're yeah, not obsessed, sorry. and and you're telling and, and you no because this I got I'm a good okay. On your podcast let's talk you about what your ex. Let's talk about what your exes said. Out. Okay, if you want to bring that up, Matt, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how you're a fraud. Okay, in uh, for you used to do a lo uh, a blog under a pseudonym, right? For three years, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, then you wrote a book about uh, a review of this book under your own name. You called yourself the Andy Warhol of the alternative right. Okay, you're so actually, you, the, hold on, hold on. You're actually the Andrea Dworkin of the men's rights movement. That's neither here nor there. I'm you not an MRA, never claimed to be. You said you were one of the, the no, no, it says you were one of the founders of the Manosphere. Okay. It's okay, not the, the same thing. Okay, then you're the Andrea Dworkin of the Manosphere. Is that better, Matt? Okay, and here's what you said about you're not one to be pigeonholed. You're equal parts Royce, Menchus Moba, Mark Ames, and St. Saint Augustine, tearing into the lives of the left with equal aplomb. And this is what you say. You are one of the best writers of modern times, and no, that is not hyperbole. You're living. You're. You're. you're I'm. I'm. I have so much rent-free space in your head that you're seeking out shit I wrote years ago. Do in in the couple days to, before this debate. Yeah. Was this his bio on In Malafide? Uh, his he wrote for the uh, Colin Liddell Richard Spencer site right. a review. A Congratulations review again! You've unearthed something that was public knowledge long before you got around to it. But hey, so, you know, so keep, 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 keep it up. The obvious takes, dude. The make obvious it, I'm not people. the one writing glowing reviews of myself. You, you can make me mental or anything, but you're the one writing glowing reviews of yourself. So you're but a fake. A review okay. that, hey, that's a bio. Have you not never written a bio that? Like we've all written bios for these websites. And it's dishonest. He's he's he claiming did. under another name that his no, own name. Well, I did writer. write this review, buddy, okay. and guess what? Colin Liddell asked me to, and it's been public knowledge, so I... Did he ask you to call yourself one of the greatest writers of your generation, Matt? No, he told me to write the review. And so you called yourself one of the greatest writers, because no one else was. Okay. All right. Well, guess what? I was I also much Would you like to pretend that your current hostility toward the alt-right has nothing to do with their rejection of you, Matt? Reject I've been rejected by people who are reprehensible shitbags. God, I'm, I'm, I really feel broken up about that. Crying in my cups every yeah. night. Yeah, really, you've, you've really done enough. That uh, you, that's all you do is talk about uh, the people you tried to suck up to reject. Yeah. And all you've done is criticize. <laughs> <laughs> suck up to? Yo, yeah, you're you're posing with all of them, and they they fucking laughed at you because you're laughable. Well, they're all fucking failure. They're all fucking losers, and I'm compared still standing. Compared to you, compared to you, Matt. They're losers. <laughs> okay, you're not. No, you're not. You're not delusional. You're not delusional, Matt. Here we go. Why did you? Dude, why did you, dude, you, you are so. You are so out of touch. You're fucking talking about how Emily not, Lucas was not was relevant. Not relevant. You. You, think, relevant. you think Emily relevant. Lucas relevant. is such she's a relevant? Fi she's more than nobody you. has cared about Emily Lucas since they care more than they care about you, Matt. She she has fallen so far that she has been reduced to doing publicity. Has she sons fallen from grace? Fed and retard Patrick Little. How strong okay. do your angel wings have to be to lift that body of yours, Matt? Like I said, fat people can get skinny. You're still going to be an old fossil at the end of this I, conversation. Matt, like I said, I've got the 30-year-old's body. You've got the 57 year And you'll be dead of a heart attack within five years. You're never going to get dead of grids within five years, buddy. Grits, you don't, you don't look well. I, I really enjoyed that backdrop, <laughs> by the way. Accentuates let's, your let's, fucking... Let, let's go. Let's go, Matt. Anytime you want. Are you look threatening well? violence against me? Holy yeah. shit, you've broken the second rule of the internet. Oh, rules of the internet, Matt. Don't look well. Matt, you've never looked well. As a, baby, Little as, a, as a baby, you didn't look well. You've never looked well in your life. I'm not going to fight you, dude, because I'm not going to get slapped with a hate crime charge for being up a literal retard. Hate Matt, uh, if you'd like to take an IQ test, literal retard would have an IQ lower than 75. Would you like to take an IQ you test against me, Matt, and see who the you love to, is. What is with you and the test, goddammit? What are you one of those kids well, you're making about your IQ constantly? You're making, statement, you're making statements that I can prove you're wrong about. That's why. Because I stick to you're facts and your little bitter baby. Like little that I was bitter, like bully baby litter. And you're terrified of black men. <laughs> the key to Matt is everything he says about you that sounds random sounds that way because it's actually about him. So if you're thinking, <laughs> where the hell did that come from? That means he's showing you his cards. <laughs> He has no spine, no actual personality of his own, and no moral center, which can make that's the fakest laugh I've ever heard, which can make the experience Dude, kind of disgusting as well. To, well, he tried to, to be all right, but he also tried to sell. Yeah. Can, can he not uh, interrupt me there, Davis? There is supposed to be moderation. Yes.
Davis. I think Davis is muted. So. I was asking you to clarify what you're talking about five minutes ago, and you're both talking over me. So okay. he, he was just laughing. You keep going, Jim. Okay. We're doing the internet blood sports trend, which is what you know. Another example of uh, old uh, old grandpa Jim here riding off a trend that has already crested. I get more ass in a week than you will ever get in your lifetime. So if you want to make age a thing, but again, like I said, I've got the thirty year old's body. You've got the fifty seven. And general. what does what does age? Was, is, about sex. It's like oh, it's, the worst thing that can nah, be happening. You, you were best known for pretending you knew anything about sex, and then the world <laughs> laughed when they saw your picture. Okay, projection, Matt. That's not true. You talked but about sex. Go right ahead. Okay, and talk, sex. Buddy. Let's let's see what you've. Oh, buddy. Ooh, he's getting tough. Let's see what you wrote about sex. Okay, here we go. A few months ago, and this is you know now Matt, who's a, Matt is a fucking. He's the world's most obese chameleon. He was a men's guy. Then he was an alt right guy. Now he's a trad guy. About against degeneracy. Three years. Three years ago, he wrote this. Then deleted it. So like Mark Ames, he's a sex tourist and somebody who brags about rape. And oh, Mark Ames, and another guy you've stalked for years because he's never stalked him. He, I actually have the documented Dude, emails. He the documented him emails. Years ago, after making yeah, funny, well, you let him go, then you can he address. told you what you were. I can't. You're talking over. You're talking over each other. You're a typical Portland hipster. He made fun of you for it, and you never forgave him because, like all I'm narcissists, a you always, you always. Matt, you read a book about narcissism. You don't sound intelligent. You know what a narcissist is? It's somebody that is more exciting than a boring person like you. Okay, so here's what you wrote. A few months ago, I was staying at the apartment with one of my fuck buddies. Ooh, Matt was a degenerate three years ago. Getting drunk with her and banging in between bouts of puking in the shower and playing with her cats. Okay, we, we were cuddling in her bed when I decided to be the man and start taking her clothes off. No, she stored it sort of mouth, but she didn't offer any resistance. Okay, then later on, uh, she, and she told me she's very, she says, I don't like it in the ass. After about 10 minutes, she started yelping like she was having her fingernails ripped out. You're not enjoying this, I whispered in her. No, it feels like you're stabbing me in my asshole. I kept thrusting. Hmm. You were bragging about fucking chicks in the ass against their will three years ago, and you deleted it, but there's a Wayback Machine, so Cook County, Illinois might want to know something about this. And I've got other testimonies that said you raped the chick. But anyway, and then, right, you, then you try claiming that she raped you. But anyway, but Let me okay. talk. Damn it, Let me talk. Who gets to talk now. Go ahead. Who gets to talk? <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This is the biggest Here we go. Here's, here's the what year. you wrote. Matt this is the also cell wrote phone a phone of the year. Ooh, Matt with his his internet, he's cell phoning. Matt, dude. Everyone saw you picture you owned yourself. Matt also wrote a blog piece claiming he owned I'm not done yet, buddy. Literally okay. accused himself exactly. in order to break. Buddy, exactly that's tough talk. Matt also exactly wrote a blog piece. Well, it. let me can I finish? And we'll talk about this because it gets serious, Matt. More serious than you're going to expect. Let me let can Davis. We stop, little Matt, baby. I'm not speaking. Interrupting. I'm, I'm asking not Davis because you will. You're just interrupting me here. I'm just. See you here. You see here. You're complaining about bias, like I like we said you would. I'm not complaining about bias. I'm asking him to keep you quiet. I'm the one. He's not having I to do that to me. I was being quiet, buddy. Yes, I, buddy, you, do you sound tough with the buddy, Matt? Go, okay. go ahead and make your point. Matt also wrote a blog piece claiming that he anally raped me. Literally accused himself in order to brag that he got away with it. He's deleted it because I guess even he's not stupid enough to leave self-rape accusations out there. I don't ever recall having a sore butt, but maybe that's just a penis size issue. Whew. All right. So, <laughs> did I tell you he moved in next door to stalk me? Shockingly, this did not result in becoming my girlfriend. I think that's why he's so enraged. I wasn't saying anything in public about him, as much as it annoyed me that he managed to leave people with the impression that we had been a couple. It's a long story, the very abbreviated version. He's still mad that he bragged to the entire world that he was dating me before asking me to date him. When I declined, he was rightfully humiliated, so he's been looking for an opening to write a string of sour grapes and sanity ever since. I feel strange. Child, I feel this strange childish need to post photos of my actual dude and every guy I've ever dated. Matt is probably larger than all of them put together, and he would be by a wide margin the dumbest in the lineup. And I think she might agree with you here about I am punching down. Okay, first off, dude is Her name desperate. is Ann Sturzinger, right. dipshit. Yeah. I know who you're yeah. talking about. Her yeah, name is oh, Ann Sturzinger. All. Okay, yeah. here's some facts about Ann Sturzinger. She Can is a failed Wolf's novelist. You did 8,500 words about her. She's, she's more yeah. successful than you, but anyway. Yeah. You rate, she's I'm, a bisexual, lifelong oh, alcoholic. I can't, I can't hear what Davis is saying. Hospital for her entire life for her alcoholism. I can't hear uh, what Admittedly uh, mentally ill. Has been well, you are, but you won't admit it. Illness and has 
committed attempted suicide multiple times because of her mental illness. Right. She you, uh, admitted that I had to rescue her from. You, uh, she, she disputes that. This is your she source. Someone who was literally declared by the state to be mentally insane. Oh, by well, the way, you Jim, just, you just way, never Jim, been you just never been examined. You've just never been, been examined. You just never just take a woman at her word ever. Yeah, you were in the entire book. Well, I'm hearing I'm hearing uh there it was that I'm hearing Davis, one of you talk at the same I, time because you were complaining that you didn't get a chance to speak, and now you're speaking over forty, and I'm trying to ask you to be quiet. So give. I'm, I'm asking you what you're saying. That's all. It's hard. You're muffled. And what I was saying is, give Forney a chance to speak. Go all ahead. we are saying, let's give Matt a chance. Go, Matt. I'm not done, dipshit. Okay, here's what I say. Your entire shtick, Jim. From who's angry, career, Matt? Is like who's you talk angry? about how you never take a woman's word. Who's smiling and who's angry and who won't show his face? Who's angry, Matt? Come on. You wrote an entire book about how unfair it was that you went to prison because society and the law took your crazy ex's claims of abuse against you more seriously. You wrote the, I've got the book, you wrote about that. And yet here you are attacking me based solely on the word of a woman who was declared by the state of Illinois to be legally insane. You've just proven that I was right when I said that you're a coward with no principles. You are a coward, dude. And guess what? Uh, if Ann Sturzinger wants to come on the stream and defend herself, she's more than welcome to, because guess what? I've got every text message that she sent me. I've got I've got evidence, and Irini happens to know her as well. Okay, she happens. To, she happens. To, she, he happens to know her as well. She can come I, on here and defend well, herself and and claim that her story. Uh, she's always changing her story because she's mentally ill. She. Oh, oh by the way, I forgot to mention our relate. My relationship with Anne began five hours after she met me when she tried to sleep with me, in while her boyfriend was sleeping ten feet away. She 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 got me drunk took advantage of the fact that I liked her, and then someone was like, ooh, let's have sex on the couch, okay? And you know what? Unlike her and unlike you, Jim, I have enough introspection to realize why I am in, uh, why I fell for that stupidity. And that is why I don't, and, and that is why I took a more Christian turn. You two, on the other hand, are still trapped in, in, in this juvenile, aging juvenile delinquent mentality, which everything is always somebody else's fault. That's why you're fucking, you're what? You're nearly 60, Jim. You're, you're a few short years from collecting social security. And you're acting like a fucking 15-year-old. So, right. so Andrew Thursinger, she's welcome to come on the stream. Irini can give her the link. And she can, we, we, we can see how reliable a witness that she is. But you know what? Like I said, I've got tons of text messages. Hell, she has admitted in public uh, times that she is mentally insane. She wrote a book, New Squam Nowhere, based in part off her experience in a mental hospital. If you go to the article on her site, NPR versus Ann Sturzinger, she says she admits to the fact that she was thrown in a mental hospital because she got drunk at a bar and started talking about killing herself, which is something I kind of dispute because given how crazy she is, I have no idea what plane of reality she's on most of the time. But you know what? She's welcome. She's welcome to, to come on here to make heads or tails of that. I know she won't because she loves shit talking me from to my mutual our mutual friend. She loves talking okay, shit. Can you, me. can you mute him now, like you did? To, can right. you mute him like you did me for ten fucking minutes? Okay. Uh, you, Timothy, that was that was insane. Okay. Okay. Don't think was, over each other. Let each other finish. Jim. Okay, but you got to give me ten because you just gave him a long time, Davis. Come yeah, on. A long time Be fair. Be fair. You didn't have him muted for one minute though. I'm quiet and I'm muting myself, Jim. Speak. Okay. Can you be quiet, Matt? Because I was reading and then you interrupted me. But anyway. Matt is being quiet. Go ahead. Okay. The key to Matt is everything that he says about you sounds random to him. We, we got through that. He tried to be outright, but he also tried to sell his advice on dating. But the only women who will date him are desperate whores in the Philippines. He doesn't even realize he's lying most of the time. And the reason I'm bringing this up, Matt, it's not a hypocrite. You didn't prove anything. The reason I wrote Shit Magnet was I was in prison for two and a half years. These other girls were running their mouths for two and a half years. I would have never written Shit Magnet if that hadn't happened. I'm, I'm unlike you in the fact that I'm not the first one to go public with this shit. You have acted like a girl with Anne, with Rachel Haywire, and with Jordan Owen doing these public, ridiculously embarrassed. Oh, Jordan Owen's going to be the next Elliot Wright, and they're insane. But you're the one who does this. Dude, I'm just, I'm, hold on, hold on, not, uh, Dorini. You got to fucking be fair here. You're, I mean, I, you were fair until now when mute him. Okay. He had, he had a lot. He had a lot more time to speak than I did. And this, that's now it's being ridiculous. Okay. 
there's a great example of so i'm what i'm doing is i'm letting her her express her side because i think she was a little too dignified to be that fucking gay about it in public there's a great example of his delusions in a blog piece he wrote about how terrible fat people are i've never met anyone who's more blatantly delusional okay so what we're going to get to down here is the other night well the thing is matt has he said that she he insinuated that she tried to sexually assault him he outed himself as raping her ass when she said to stop and he went going on he deleted it he was either lying maybe he'll try to claim he was lying and not a degenerate three years i mean he changes like a chameleon like as he sheds the skin there's no core okay actually let, let me address this question to you matt one did you rape a girl in the ass and then blur brag about it and two did you used to be a degenerate first off no i didn't rape a girl in the ass i didn't even have sex with ann sturzinger in the ass and the fact that she claimed that i did is probably a more hilarious cell phone than what jim is doing here like <laughs> I that is the purest definition of an unforced error. Okay, so no, no, the, the the claim that it felt like she was stabbing my asshole was something she said while I was putting it in the normal hole. And you know what? Okay, but I you kept have, you kept going then when she said no. Are you a feminist now? Like you? I'm think a feminist. I'm saying are you a rapist? You claimed you were. I'm just asking, were you lying or are you? That's all. It was not rape, dipshit. When she says stop and you keep going, technically, legally, dumbass, that's rape. And you owned yourself. Talk about owning yeah, yourself. Yeah, talk about owning like talk about owning yourself. You admitted to it in, in something that's still on the Wayback Machine. And yet, and mysteriously, she has failed to go to the police. Well, you know You're what happened? You, you know what happened, Matt? And this, this is where it's going to get serious. She was actually raped the other night. Because we were talking about all this stuff. And this was a weird fucking synchronicity. Okay? We were talking about... This and that. I mean, we were sharing jokes. I didn't really get into all the things I thought that were funny about you. Um, we can, but I guess this is get, getting darker. But uh, and we talked about the uh, the allegations and that it was silly for you to say that you kept going, you know, because I she said that you insinuated in this eighty five hundred word piece you did about her. I was told it was eighty. It was pretty fucking long. I didn't read all of it. She, she said that you sort of insinuated that she forced herself on you. I wasn't there. I don't know. But here, you said. That she said no, and I kept thrusting. You denying that? She she softly moaned it, which doesn't mean no. Okay. No is when you say stop and resist. And no, you know she what? no, she whined. It feels like you're stabbing me in the asshole. Whine, not softly. You're a liar. You changed it. I proved it. I proved it empirically that you lied. So yeah, you're a you're self admitted so, you're living you're self, in my head. Self admitted rapist. Okay. That's <laughs> You're a feminist now, apparently. I never said I was a feminist. I actually like to look at both sides of any issue, Matt. But here's the thing. She did get raped, actually raped the other night. And I think this is serious. And maybe cool down a little bit to hear this. Because this is one of these, my life is just filled with these sort of circumstances. We were talking about this and we stopped talking. I, I got what I needed. And about two in the morning, I got this, uh, this text. Uh, a neighbor or someone just came in and raped me. I'm like, are you serious? I didn't know if she, if she was telling a joke. And she said, yeah, I don't know if I should call the cops because uh, it's probably someone from my building because it's thundering outside and he had no shoes on and uh, he was dry and I don't want them to kill me. I'm like, call the cops. It's not like they're acting nice to you anyway. If you don't believe me, she's, there's, a, uh, there's a thing they give out to rape victims and a hospital okay. band on her wrist. Hold on. This, I think, illustrates Forney's point is that she, she got never, go ahead phoned anyone up and said after forney had awkward drunk sex with her should i phone the police i believe she went out for breakfast with him the next day and the rapist? no she was she was in the hospital for two days but what she said okay here's about the matt situation what she said about that was that she was so drunk she doesn't know if it happened what she what she did say is she doesn't remember having a sore butt but that might be because of his dick uh, okay but uh, just okay. you know take a page from bill Maher. Can if you go for dinner with the person that you say raped you, it was She didn't say that. She didn't say, we're talking about Matt saying he did it. She never said that. She said she was too oh, drunk. The yes. only reason that I was even at her place to begin with, because the day before we had been having a conversation and then out of the blue, she asked me to come over with quote, a 24 pack of beer and some sick, uh, thick fucking condoms. She literally called me over for a booty call. The reason I was still so there. so desirable, Matt. 
I have the messages, to... buddy. I can screen share it, buddy. Question. I'm not saying I'm not saying she's got uh, bad taste uh, then. You know, that's all. Question, uh, How do you feel about the fact she was actually raped the other night, Matt? No, topic. Let Matt address it. Matt, did you used to be a degenerate and are you repentant now or are you a chameleon that changes his, you know, spots like a tire or something? Where I used to be a degenerate. I my writing is freely available for anyone to see what I used to wrote. I've never hidden anything. I've never deleted anything. By the way, Jim, that post about about Anne, I deleted it at her request. A full month after she had read the post, thought it was hot, masturbated to it for a fucking week straight, and then invited me over to uh, to, to to fuck her again. She didn't have a problem with it until a month later. Then she asked me to take it down, and I I said she was like, well, why didn't you know? She's like, that hurt me. And I'm like, okay, well. You were not acting like you were hurt. But uh, what did she do to you? What did she do to you publicly that would cause something like this? Dude, shit, right here. That's all mm -hmm. I got. You know what? I I treated her like a groupie, and you know what? She acted like a groupie. Okay. But what did what did she do? Seriously, what did she do to uh, cause this public thing that you would do? Because to me, that's well, what. Hold on, let me finish the question. Because to me, in my experience, and like I said, I wrote Ship Magnet as a response in my observations through my life. The people that go public with their laundry are the girls. And then maybe the guys respond, maybe they don't. So what did she do to uh, like cause us? She's the sickest, most fucked up. What uh, did she do? It was anonymous in that piece, for the record. I'm sorry? Ann Sturzinger's name was not mentioned in that piece, and I think this is the first time publicly that it's been acknowledged that it was her. Yes. And, yet, and yeah, you know what? Had I known that she would cause a public stink about it, not only would I have kept the piece up on my blog, I would have padded her name to it just to piss her off. But you know what? Uh, what did she do to me? Well... There was the fact that she dragged me into a sexual uh, relationship against my will, took, adva took advantage of- You were raped, Matt. Everyone believes that. She literally called herself a rapist, so don't ask me. Don't yell at me. She, she, she yeah, brought she, that she up. more I've physically powerful than you, Matt? How, how was I've, she able to tell, How was she able to force sex upon you? Tell me Jim, that. Jim, I never, I never called her a rapist. She called herself a rapist. When I so told you, her about You just this, said something, though. Said, we, can re, we can rewind the tape. You just said something alone. She had sex with you against your will. Did you just not she, say something like that? No, she got she got me drunk, kept touching me inappropriately. <laughs> then it that she, she got me drunk. Oh my god, you are a girl. And I made the mistake of actually falling for it. That was a dumbest decision. And in some ways I'm still paying for it. But you know what? She is 13 years older than me. She is the adult in that interaction. Okay. you you don't get to be the, the adult, older the person in the interaction, then slough right. it off. You don't get you don't you don't you, you, you you, if you're the older person in these interactions, you have to take responsibility. You still haven't because answered what, what she old, did. What did she do? Or... What did she do to you that necessitated this, like Jerry Springer live? I'm sorry. Are you asking why he wrote the article? Why he published it? Why? Because I remember when Debbie. Hold on. I remember when Debbie started going public. It's like, and what I said to her, it's like. You know, you're only making people who hate us happy. Like no one who likes us wants to see this kind of shit. And not because it was an indictment of me. Matt even said in his review of Shipman that I owned everything I did. It was just really sad. And maybe you had romantic feelings for her. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you still got that MR, whatever, man's manosphere mindset. See, I never really got into these terms because I just go where I, I don't follow trends or memes or any of that shit. And actually, if you want to get real and street about it. I was kind of right. I laid the template for all that shit a long time ago, but I, I don't understand. Seriously, as dude to dude, if you can be dude to dude, what in her behavior necessitated this loud, ugly public thing? Well, there was the fact that uh, she had been gossiping about me for uh, months been before what? that. that uh, but that in and of itself is not. Didn't, I didn't hear that word. She been what? She got she, she was gossiping about me, talking shit about me. Talking shit. It's talking always the stalkers who are they're talking shit. They're concerned with talk people talking shit. What do you care about? That was not that was not that was not the the impetus. The impetus is that she was accusing me of blackmail because I had switched web hosts. Her website was still hosted on my service uh, because she was she had never attempted to even uh, move it off of there because she's a freeloader. Uh, she's a freeloader and. So when it went down, and she had already blocked me on Facebook. Say, she made say it your piece. She no say your piece. Say your she, piece. Yeah, then, she, then, then, then let him say everything he wants about her. Then I'll speak. Okay, Davis. She well, accused well, me of blackmail because you know after after two years of uh, uh, of leeching off of uh, off of me, I said through Edwin, uh, 
a mistake now that if she I had the files, if she wanted them, she could she could she could compensate me materially for at least some of the hosting costs because that is not that is not cheap at the time the the, the program I was on was not cheap. And you know she, we had only agreed that her website would be on my service as so as long as she was poor and couldn't afford her own. She never once made an attempt to move it off, even after things before us had went sour, she didn't went ridiculously clean. It was like, oh, I had some web bastard friend of mine try to move it, but it was locked. I was like, yeah, it's locked. You can't access the files on a on a server without the admin's permission. At, at, at any point, she could have contacted me and said, like, okay, I want my site off of your server, and I would have happily done it for her. I would have done it for free. She never did. She 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 expected to leech off of me for all of eternity. And when I switched web hosts without telling her, because at that point she made it clear that she wanted no further contact, she got pissy and started uh, passive aggressively publicly talking about uh, she was the victim of a blackmail attempt. And, 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 and consider the fact that I gave her her files for free anyway, because I didn't because I realized what I was doing was wrong, and I didn't want and I didn't want to deal with her going public. But she kept doing this anyway. So you know what? I published the post to shut her up. It was the it, it was an extreme measure, but, but it was the only work. one that worked. Because guess she's, what? She was she stopped again. doing it. She's she talking stopped. again. But here's the thing. Oh, actually, you talk about you talk about age. This is funny because this is what she said about you. When I first met him, I was shocked at his appearance. Like this dude in his twenties, what the hell kind of nuclear reactor exploded on his mom? And, and then also, she and also, to fuck oh, me five minutes later. No, this no. Minutes. Well, this had this was last week, Matt. And also, Matt, you're a fat, bald, old guy. You're in your twenties, and people on Reddit are calling you old. Like and I said, yet, you, you've never. If you're a woman there. and you sleep with a guy you, repeatedly, you lose looked. any right to talk about his appearance. But okay, you've said you've said what a horrible person is. Ta-da! I just said she was raped, and you're so concerned about your reputation. You showed wait, 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 wait. you're Jim. Jim, you're gossiping about something that happened three years ago, and I'm now, not gossiping. He he said it. It's not gossip. And you're bringing, gossip. apparently she was recently raped, which is fucking terrible if it happened. This is the first I've heard about it. But, but we've heard not a word from Matt. It He's has more concerned her. about his right. He said he could ruin her right. Oh, Man, you can't ruin anyone's oh, writing career. Well, then why did she suddenly, if I can't ruin anyone's reputation, then why did she suddenly delete all of her accusations about me four hours after I published that post? Why did she come to me two weeks later begging me to delete the post? Which I did, by the way, because guess what? It had served its purpose. Time to let it die. Let it disappear down the memory hole. Okay. All right, good. You got to unmute yourself, but stop, stop, stop speaking over others. If she got raped recently, that's freaking terrible. And okay. you know what? And what? you know what? Too, it's like when 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 I initially published the post, she was all like, "I'm going to write a rebuttal and and improve his lies." And yet, she never wrote any rebuttal. Instead, she deleted all of her comments about me, and then she begged me to take the post down two weeks later. You know, you're um, falling right into it, Matt. Because here's the thing: this, and I've asked you already, but you are so concerned that what this girl. You haven't said a word about her actually fucking being raped. You are soulless. You have no fucking empathy. You're I only said. concerned. You are. You know. You know what it is. You're a narcissist, and you have no reason to be. You're hideous, and you're. The problem with you is, if you're going to look like you, you got to have a personality. Your personality is a perfect reflection of your face. You I have no soul. You, you haven't. You still haven't said one true. word of sympathy for what happened. Go ahead. Just like, yeah, go, aren't you concerned about what an internet nobody said on you uh, said about you on a podcast? Yeah, this is how this all began, no, by the no, way. Here's the thing. Here's, no, hold on, hold on. Matt was upset. Can, can, can I please talk? Yeah. Ask me a question. Let me talk. Okay. I was not the one who brought up nobody. I guess in Matt's mind, relevancy and po hold on. Please don't interrupt me, Davis. You're interrupting me. I'm trying to make a point here. I don't care about popularity. If you have one follower. And you bring up something that is philosophically interesting to me. I'll talk to you. I, I don't discriminate if you have one follower. If you're the most, if you're the fucking pope, I'm not. I don't give a fuck about celebrity. Apparently, Matt does, which suggests to me that he's a shallow person. That's all. He's the one that made an issue of being a nobody and punching down. Gave me a good joke though. Literally, literally, in the literal well, sense. And I think the audience right. understands what literal means. Let me finish. You're the one interrupting. Davis, you've never interrupted. I'm me. trying to clarify points, sir, because you make 30 points. You also said my that. Mind, my mind goes quickly, Davis, but go ahead. You said, Forney, why did you care that Anne was spreading rumors about you? Yeah, but this was this is a different thing. It's not, he, what, she wasn't saying he has a small dick. She wasn't saying he's fat. She's saying, she was something, it was a minor thing about 
like a, a boring story about a web host. That's all. But oh, this psychotic whore, it seems preemptive and it seems very feminine to me. I, I'm not satisfied that he was, no, in my judgment, he was not satisfied with going that ugly and, and Jerry Springer about it. That's all. The rumor she's spreading he still is hasn't said, He still hasn't said something about no, her being raped. If you want to, hold on. If you want to see the proof that she was raped, jimgo.net slash jpeg. She's got her hospital bracelet and the admission papers there. Well, no, that's that's absolutely terrible. But that has Davis, no you've said that five times. He hasn't said it once. What do you do with this? Go that, ahead, Matt. He does not I haven't said anything about it because you can throw shit at me and not letting me respond. You keep throwing shit at me about this drama and not letting me respond. <laughs> I'm I think it's terrible that she got minutes. raped. Good. I also think, I also, I, Good. I think it's terrible that she got raped. I also think it's kind of odd and coincidental that it happened this way. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yes. I was, I mean. Kind of a bad it, simulation we live in if that's, if that's the kind of thing that happens. A bad what? A bad simulation. St simulation? Stimulation? You know the joke that we live in a gigantic matrix. It was, I mean, Chicago's a bad place. Yeah. Yeah. And no, she, got, I, she, got I, fucking, I she got raped by a black guy. But here's the thing. You oh, that never happens. Here's the thing. You began huh? this. You began this by... You know, you, you, you approach this in complete and utter bad faith. You started talking about. Okay, rumors hold on. David, David can gave... you mute him? I want to address that. And that's a bad argumentative tactic. You had a, quite a bit of time to say stuff. Let's let Forney give it. But he's accusing me of what's in my mind. We can't do that. I don't know what's in his mind. I don't want to get inside his mind. That's well, You can't tell me what I'm doing or bad faith. I, that's, no, and that's one of the reasons okay. I came on here. Yeah, it's bad I'm absolutely faith. sincere. It's, it's bad. If a woman has gotten raped, that's the first fucking thing you mentioned when it became. Right. Barney, do not speculate upon the witness's motives. Just speculate. Just describe the behavior he engaged. That's in. thank you, Davis. This is this is why I this is why I kind of wanted to talk to him because the way he All right, good. went well, after. I, I just want to explain my my. I will. Exp I was accused of motives. This is my motives. Why I wanted to have this conversation. Nothing about punching down, but literally, Matt can't punch above his weight because he weighs so much. It was just because I saw the way he argued. It's, he's doing this because it's mind reading and it's appeal to motive. And I, I grow increasingly frustrated. Just let me get this out as one or two more sentences. I actually like to have honest conversations. So telling me why I'm doing it in bad faith, that's bullshit. And Matt, I never accused you. I, I examine your behavior. So lay back on that because that's that. it's a dead-end loop. You say you're doing this because I say no. Oh, you're in denial. That goes nowhere. I don't know what you do. I mean, why you do what you do. I don't want to know. I, I would last thing I'd want in the world is to crawl inside your fucking mind. But that's a bad argumentative tactic, and you rely on it too much. Take the floor. The exact same thing, though? No, when? When? I will only say I suggest because this and that. I won't say you're doing this because you're a liar. I, I will take a lie detector. If I can't find any, I will take a lie detector test that he sent me that email. I, I, will, I am not a fucking liar. Best rapist. I'm sorry? You, you called him a self-confessed rapist and a liar? Yeah. Well, he did that. That's he is. That's a fact that I didn't say why he raped her. I didn't say why he confessed to it. That's mind reading. I said what he came, what came out of his mouth saying I kept going when she said no. That's him writing. I'm a self confessed. That's him being a self. That's a fact. I kept going. And yet she didn't go to the police about it. Again, this is this feminist nonsense of like, oh, rape victims who don't go to the police. In fact, she, she not only go, did not go to the police, she continued to sleep with me she, after that. She, she said she didn't. She said that there were several other people who came in on it. Okay, again, I'm saying so. That's I know, a fucking I, hold on. lie. We were alone there, Matt. I said she said. Okay, listen to me. She and she also said. She doesn't remember anything. That's part of it. Other people were encouraging her to. This is what, and this is, there are a couple other people corroborated this, that there were witnesses. I'm just reporting here. I'm not making any claims because I, I wasn't there. I don't know. There were happened. witnesses who saw me raping her. Who came in and you, you fled is what they said. According to your account, though, you just flopped over because you couldn't come. But as she also said, she didn't have a sore butt. And I know that's insulting because if you anally raped her and she didn't have a sore butt, doesn't doesn't reflect well on you. Either she's lying but, but Davis, or she Davis. doesn't remember anything. Because Davis, guess what? Go ahead. That, no, guess what? That's not how it happened. I'll, 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 I'll talk about this. Again, the day before, mm -hmm. I came over to her place because she asked me to. She literally wanted to have sex with me. I can show the messages that she sent me on Facebook. I stayed there because, well, number one, she tried to lock me in because I asked for the keys and she hid them. But number two, she had been drinking for like a week straight she had admitted that she had tried to kill herself because of what Rachel Hayar had been doing to her. 
She had shotgunned a bottle of whiskey, and she'd made this in a legal document to uh, to a certain lawyer, by the way, so she can't squirm out of that one. Uh, and I stayed there because I was concerned that she was going to – she had no food in her house. She had no money. She had claimed that her uh, wallet had been stolen, and she had no way to get any access to any money. Uh, she had been drinking and was having delusions and, del and, and DTs, okay? So I stayed around to dry her out. Now, part of it was because – I was, that was the first time in my life I'd been in a situation like that, and I wasn't sure what to do. But I stuck around because I was afraid that if I didn't, she would have died. And she said in this legal document uh, when Rachel Haywire tried to sue us like a year later that she admitted that if it had not been for my intervention, she would have died. And you had sex with her during that weekend where you were Because deep she deep. asked me to. Because she begged me to. She begged you to stop, and you kept thrusting. That's like, but, uh, she begged me to come up, yeah. Go. Yeah, by your own words, by your own words, Matt. Yeah, that's, afterwards, that's known afterwards. legally. That's known legally as a statement against interest. You're just like I'm muting both of you for one second. Go. What you're doing, obsessing over this preternatural, awkward, and failed relationship between Forney and Sturzinger is the equivalent of us spending the next forty-five minutes calling you a fag because a guy sucked you off one time. All right, this is very pedantic. It's not going anywhere. We actually talk about what the hell you guys disagree about. So go, go ahead and unmute yourself. With the fag thing, a girl I know says you talk like you got a 50 foot cock in your mouth, but that's not here nor there. You guys are the ones talking about fags. So that suggests things to me. No, we're not a little. That's I'm sorry. We're not talking about it. You keep talking about this screwed up relationship. The reason, but, but here's the reason I bring it up, Davis. Because she actually got raped. He said, that's terrible. Hold on, hold on. Related. Please. Hold on. Can you can I finish the sentence? She he she got raped the other night. He's not disputing it. But he's this she said this and she's mentally ill. This shows character right here. This shows he's more concerned about, well, I, I you know, she wanted me and I oh, that's and, a girl, and a girl hold on and a girl got fucking raped by a black guy. And, and, and who is a repeat criminal apparently and, and has been arrested for it. And he, he well, okay, that's bad. But if she said this, 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 uh, this is the reason oh, I've done it. It illustrates I, the maybe, soulessness of I the guy who talks and, and keeps talking Anne, about people with no soul. If Anne was uh, so traumatized by this rape, why was she tweeting three hours ago? She, do you, are you disputing it happened? Because uh, jimgo.net slash Anne.jpg. I looked at that and I'm asking why she's on Twitter. You I'm asking you're, you're, cap Twitter, you're like, capable of, are you, are you denying that she got raped? Cause we can prove that. How about you come, ha she comes on here and talks about it because she's apparently well enough to tweet. I thought about, we what the fourth between you two, not her and the rapist. Who's probably not even in the audience. Yes. And right. if Anne is well enough to tweet, she's well enough to come on the stream and tell her side of the story. She doesn't need Jim. Uh, Whitney, you want me to contact her? Uh, she's, she's probably, come on. she's probably I listening. Know. I can ask. If you want her on uh, guy. You can come on. I don't. Yeah. I just, I think, I think he, he fell exactly for the trap because this shows he's more concerned about what people think about girls desiring him or not. Dude, the girl actually dude, got raped. Okay? Dude, if you, can, dude, if you were concerned about this, you would have told me that she was raped right off the bat. You wouldn't be using this as some sort of uh, autistic, weird ass power play. Autistic. You know, Matt, you're you were the least self aware. Make a point, you Everyone that fuck. I've talked to about you says you're autistic. No, does us crying about her getting raped? Does that make good radio and does that help catch the rapist? No. Like her getting No, no, what I have already explained the point it makes that he's pretty a pretty shallow person. He's concerned about his public image more than you know, he's I he's supposedly a Christian no, and he's supposed to feel compassion. I'm sorry. He's dying in Ethiopia of starvation. You self involved person, you could be you you could be working and donating that money to charity to feed kids in Africa. I'm, this is a specific situation we're talking about. Oh, that's that has nothing. I'm sorry. I'm not, and I'm not. I'm not posing as a moralist. So that's actually here's a, actually here's a, actually, here's a question. Actually, here's a question, Matt. You get really upset. Go ahead. Actually, you get you sound kind of like really worked up. Go ahead, Matt. How would she post a police report? She says sure. Okay, hold on. Let me call her. I'll take out one. We're calling her right now. I still don't see what this has to do with you two not liking. Well, let's, let's see how they talk. Well, send yeah. her the link to. Do you want to come on? Are you on Gmail? She's on my Skype. She can ask for a join. Yeah, ask. Uh, okay, go ahead. I can. Okay, great. Okay, get on. Uh, Davis is talking to her. 
But just to say, hey, caring about somebody that you used to care about on some level got raped, that makes me a feminist. That's really dumb. No, it, I accused you of being a feminist because you accused me of rape, because, because you claimed I had raped her. Yeah, you claimed you had raped her. We've no, established that. You said it. You didn't. You, you didn't. You, you didn't it. listen to Wait, after. You, know, you didn't read the part of the post after that where she said that I was the only man that she that that didn't that did not make her sick. And she continued not, what does it have to do with I kept thrusting? What does that have to do with I kept thrusting when she said no? With me after that, and you know what? If you took that to a court, then no court would buy it. That's Anna why she is, never charged. By the way, Anna's joined. There she is. All right, start. And I'm fucking. I'm. What happened the other day is terrible. This is probably the wrong place to talk about it. I don't know why it came up. This is about this is a podcast. I've explained repeatedly why it came up, but go ahead. Matt Forty and Jim Goad want to be really good friends and ride the unicycle together. Uh, and now we're bringing you into this. I'm really sorry. Are you doing okay? Repeatedly why it came up. Matt Forty and Jim Goad want to be. There's an echo, a really bad echo. Mute the video in the background. I, I think I need to get. I think I get to need. I think I need to get my headphones. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's what the problem is. There's an echo. There's an echo. Yeah. Echo. All right, and I just muted you, so unmute yourself when you get back. Yeah. Here's here's the thing, Matt. Um, I don't think I, I sincerely. You know what I? I your chameleonic nature, where you shed these identities as the momentum moves somewhere else, suggests to me that you really don't have any core ideas. But for the sake of argument, I project, so I think everyone else is sincere. Are you willing to allow the possibility that the things I say are sincere and I'm actually looking for truth and happiness sincerely? Or I'm, well, I, I, I'm willing to consider that in, okay. in, in, a, in a infinite universe. In an infinite, in, in an infinite universe, okay. Which I believe our universe is infinite in yeah. some respects. Hey, uh, I, I apologize for the echo and the delay i just i've had a shitty week and i didn't think about putting my headphones on sorry i'm i'm sorry to hear what happened dan uh you can talk about it or not talk about it i it's just, this is not what we're here to talk about but you're welcome to say whatever you want now like actually let me let me start things off i don't want to get into the ugly details between you and forney you guys had a relationship back in the day. It did not end greatly. Did Matt Forney ever rape you? I do not know. That's you okay. Let me let me just say first of all, I gave Jim permission to talk about this. He's not just dragging me into it. He actually helped me through a really shitty situation and it is bizarre that we were talking about all this when yeah I mean, it was this... such a strange synchronicity i'm sorry it was crazy yeah the, the, he would was... both both forney and i when you were going through all that shit with your ex-business partner trying to drive you to suicide forney was helping you with that and that was a year after whatever happened between you guys happened yeah um just to clarify, you, I, I do not know whether Matt raped me. You guys are, are, I think, without any malice on either of your part. I don't, I don't think I was clear enough. I think you've conflated two incidents. Um, the first one was when Matt and I met, and I hadn't been drinking um, because I do have a problem with alcohol. I've, I've owned that everywhere. Uh, Matt has a problem with alcohol and food and everything else, and he can't own that shit, which is kind of why he, I don't know, attacks everyone else about it. Um, I, uh, Jesus. The night I met him, I hadn't been drinking, and I drank uh, three, I, three or four IPAs and got blacked out drunk. Um, I don't remember what happened. Um, my, my boyfriend claimed that Matt raped me. I had no recollection of the incident, so I didn't want to press charges or ruin Matt's reputation because I didn't want to ruin someone's life over something that I didn't know whether it happened or not. Right. That, that incident when you first met, Matt right. introduced him, your boyfriend woke up, real, saw himself getting cucked by Matt Forney. 
and then tried to accuse Matt. He started spreading rumors to everybody that Matt Forney had raped you, and you insisted that no, Matt Forney didn't rape me. I don't remember him raping me, and etc. And you eventually. Yeah. That yeah, I, I defended him because I didn't want to make fake rape charges, but no. I don't know. I don't know what happened. And the like, the, the fact that Matt's been insinuating that I kind of took advantage of him in repayment for me defending him from fake rape charges is kind of unbelievable. Um, that is possibly second, a jerk. Now, that's just like the second incident, which is what Jim Goad was bringing up. Matt Forney wrote a post is about this weekend you spent together. Uh, you had OD'd on alcohol and he was taking care of you. And there was some awkward sex. You said no at one point, but he kept going. But the, it was awkward sex, not rape. And that was what, six months or a year after you first met, wasn't it? That's a very long story. Um, Matt has tried. This is this is a perfect illustration of how people who try to be decent people can never get away with manipulating someone once. Because if you're not good at manipulating people, you can never get away with it because you don't have any practice. I had had one of the worst, no, the worst years of my life. My best friend died the day I turned 40, or I found out about it the day I turned 40, which was also the day of the Charlie Hebdo shooting. I went to France to try and take care of her husband because he was suicidal. While I was in France, this was, this was after the first incident. This was six months after the first incident. Um, I don't even know why I'm talking about this shit in public. But I'm, but can I give you my perspective? I'm, as I'm doing it for the sake of accuracy because You guys had a shitty relationship together where both of you were being broken together and both of you were being idiots and drinking too much and you were dealing with a lot of shit from the outside. You had all that personal shit. Matt Forney was constantly getting attacked by the left-wingers and you, you kind of found comfort in each other, but it wasn't exactly a healthy relationship. I, I sum it up yeah. I don't want to dig into. I don't want to. Yeah, this uh, Anne looks. Anne's been through enough. I think this. I think this is enough. Matt challenged her to come on. She came on. I think that. I think it, this. I don't want to put her through. Does yeah. she have a police report? Yeah. About. No, I just don't. Do you have, want, and do you have I a police report about what happened? You have week? a police report because guess what? Yes. A few months ago, yes. Jim. I will. Hoax. You, want, you want me to? Yeah, get it, Anne. Get it, because he's a liar. Go ahead. A few months ago, Jim talk about the police where he posted a picture of himself after surgery with his nose broken, uh, saying that Antifa had put him in the hospital. Yeah. So guess it what? Prank. It was a prank. Dude. And it was I revealed the prank three days later for my next article. Yeah. So so will you, so will you forgive me for uh well fuck it I'll rephrase this. Can you consider the fact that I might think that this is also a prank because you have a history now, of such things? Can, maybe you can see the seriousness on my face. I can see emotions can be faked, pal. I'm well. I guess you would know about. I that, want. But, um, I want. I want. I want. I want. I trust, but I terrify. Terrify. And then I think she's been put through enough. Wait, what I trust, but I verify. What does rape have to do with this situation at all? Why? I, like I said, he he asked her to come on. Okay, I, I wanted to show he's all he's getting he's morally grandstanding. And he's shown right. himself to be an empty person. No, you're using a, a woman's rape if it is real for your own for, to win an argument, which First is pretty goddamn all, sick, dude. No, you've just been you. been repeatedly spreading that I was his ex. I was not voluntarily dating him. He tried to oh. manipulate me. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to say when a woman tells me that she's in love and with now me. I'm digging through volumes of sexual assault paperwork to try to find the actual police report. This is, we're talking about, this, this is somebody else yesterday in Chicago. This is not Matt Forney we're talking about. This was, was two days ago and it, it was just an incredible it's coincidence, a horrible coincidence, but I figured, she said you can talk about all this and like, what I wanted to do, because I, I, he acted exactly like I thought, I'm explaining, you're asking me, Davis, let me explain. <laughs> Coincidence means there was a second incident. Where's the second incident? All yeah. I see is one rape. There's no coincidence. There's just one rape. He, well, Matt said I kept thrusting, so that's the first, okay? There we go. You accused him of. 
No, he accused himself in his article. It's on the Wayback Machine. I'll give everyone the URL right now to just fucking settle this. My God. Okay. Why H is sexual H assault? HTTPS, HTTPS slash slash archive dot IS. Archive is. Okay. Sexual archive assault is, is spelled wrong. Z O T K S. Matty, you challenging this? Put up $10,000 that it's fraudulent. Oh, you don't have it. Put up it's, everything you own, Matt. You don't have any money either, dude. You I just bought a house. I bet $110,000 last year. You want me to prove that? Because I can put put up everything you have. I'll put up this fucking house. Let's go, buddy. Right. Just like we. All right. So we have yes. And got sexually. This is my new house. You will never have a house, Matt. You'll die of a heart attack. All right, bro, could you stop talking over others? Yes. And got sexually assaulted by a a black man the other night. That's right. Terrible. Why did you bring it up, Goad? What is this? I've, I've explained this five times. Listen closely. The sixth time around. I wanted to prove what a shallow and he's, you know, projection, projection, narcissist. Matt's more concerned about whether she liked him more or he liked her more. How would he Hold on. Let me finish, Matt. Then, then he just heard a woman's been raped and he had to be asked about five or six times. What do you think about that? I brought that's exactly why. Because he was going to know the shallow shit. I throw a fucking nuclear bomb in there and prove what a shallow. He's just a blimp with Aaron. There's nothing in there. That's why. First off, like I said, you've committed pranks before. So guess what? And you and I, and I, I mentioned that you had been lying about me earlier and proved You're it. You're so shrill and angry. So Matt, I don't you want to take a lie detector to... test over who the liar is? Because we can what do that. You I, I, you? Because people accuse me of being liars because I've suffered in my life for not fucking lying. You get by on lying. You know, oh, hey, I'm a player. You get by on nothing. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a representative of the white race. You, you are the worst specimen of the white race that exists. Wait a minute. Okay, now you're a Catholic. God doesn't want you. God would, would St. Peter would say, mm, no, go. Okay, that's why, Matt. No. Okay. So, um, yeah. Nah. So nah. I'm better friends with Anne than Matt is at this point. There's no, but, I, I, there's no bad blood between Anne and I, but when you told me, right now I'm in do an interesting live stream mode, and as soon as I'm done, then I'm going to be like, holy shit, and got raped. And I'm going to. It's horrible. It's horrible. Kept, I've been, I've been on edge all week because of this. Yeah. It, you it, kept, and you, like kept, I said, you kept throwing lies at me. You kept throwing Anne's lies. Name a lie. At me name a lie. Distortions. Well, I know. I said, I said, I said, this is what she said. I'm not lying. And, you two, well, you can then, hash it out whether it's lying. I'm lying or mis misremembering things. Like, for example, the claim that she, I moved in to stalk her. The reality is that she moved into my neighborhood two weeks after me. So if anyone has a stalking claim to make, it's me. And I can prove this because wow. guess what? I have the text messages and I have the fucking lease. He still doesn't care about the rape, Laudian. I said if the rape happened, it's a tragedy. But you know what? Given your history of lying, dude, I have zero. Name one, name one lie I've ever told, Matt. I just named one early in the show when you claimed that I had That's, emailed you. Matt, why, would, why would I lie about something so trivial? You just send and say, because hey, you're you know, a I'm a narcissist and a petty individual. No, Matt, I can, again, what's with a lie? You're, would you agree to have me take a lie? Because that would cancel out that claim. Where else have I lied? Because actually in some of the things she said here, she said Matt lies without even realizing he's lying. You lied about being a player, Matt. You're no fucking player. I never you claimed lied. that. Yo, the, the chicks and the chick. Oh, me, I won't fuck the fat chicks. Oh, my God, Matt. Look at you. That's that's when you were originally revealed to be a fraud. Then you were a white, white wait, wait, power wait. guy, and then you're walking backwards from Antifa. No. One of my favorite yeah. books by Forney was Life During Peacetime, and that was a book about how he made a complete ass of himself sleeping with a fangirl who was planning to get married and how much he hated himself for doing it and what a jackass he is. He's never claimed to be a ladies' man player or whatever. He's just talked about what he knows. Well, does he know these things about female psychology? Because he doesn't know how he comes off, so I doubt he knows anything about women, really. Well, again, that's one of these, like, that's like, go, you're a virgin. It's one of those cheap... No, I'm not, I'm not, I said, I doubt. I'm not saying he... I'm sorry. Okay. I, I know how to count. No, I doubt things. you've ever had sex. It's, it's the same thing. This is a cheap internet. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that any of the things you're saying are anything equivalent. And I know how to couch these things, not to claim that I know what's inside someone's mind. Unlike Matt. He said he knew why I wrote that, wrote that article, which is what started all this. He doesn't. He clearly doesn't. I've explained it. And talking about acting in bad faith, well, th yeah, he brought up bad faith. He didn't mean this when he wrote this in the article. He doesn't mean any. Who acted in bad faith? You started this with bad faith. 
your whole your blog was in bad faith. That's what was the name of it, dude. Dude, you deliberately framed this in a way to be manipulative. If you actually cared about a woman being raped, you wouldn't have shunted that to the very and, end. And did I act? Did I act caring when you texted me in the middle of the night the other night? Did I yes. encourage? You, did I encourage you to go to the cops? Because did you not say to me, "This was really and like again shocking"? So I'm kind of rattled, and I had trouble sleeping. It's you said, "It's somebody from my building, or somebody staying with somebody, and they'll kill me if I call the cops." I'm like, "They're not being nice now. Call the cops." But why did you announce it on this live stream? How many times do I have to? Okay, seventh time, seventh time, because I knew Matt would be more concerned whether she loved him more than he loved her, or whatever. Than the yeah, fact because guess what? I didn't know yeah. about the rape. Okay, it was I don't exactly up and you kept concern working. myself with the doings of Anne's was, wife. I don't know what she's brought up, doing. and you kept she ignoring it. For all I know, it was brought up, and you kept ignoring it. And that's it. You perfectly oh, served oh, my point. Oh, that's oh, why I brought it up because I knew that. A, 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 a cheap appeal to emotion. A Matt, all you've been doing emotion. is being shrill. You're not logical. You're an appeal to motive. That's all you do. So you brought because you you said I'm, I'm supposed to immediately drop everything and and, and suddenly start crying because you claim someone was raped. Am I supposed to immediately? Is it still claim? Is it still claim? Is it still claim that you right? have a history of you have a history of lying? Name a lie I've told. People. Name a lie I've told, Matt. I've oh, challenged talk, you, and you said oh, an a, email. You you show oh you could have deleted tons of emails. It could have been another email account, Matt. Funny, I Name, can't. Contact. You said a history. You said a history, Matt. Let's go. Okay, let's go back to that incident you were talking about uh, years ago where you knocked a fist with Antifa. Uh, oh. Yeah, and uh, you claimed in a Vice article mm -hmm. that you uh, were har being harassed in Portland because mm -hmm. you were wearing an Iron Cross pendant. Some Antifa gang came up to you. Uh, Scott, and wanted skinheads against racial prejudice. Yeah, the yes, Rose City Bobber Boys, yes. Yes, and you single-handedly fought them off and a bouncer. No, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. It was one guy, and I bested that guy. I didn't say I said, you're lying. It's skinheads against white people. You can find the article. You just lied. Caught you. Calling me a projection, Matt. Well, Look I'm, up sorry, I'm, not, hold on, hold I'm on, sorry I'm not David. immediately quoting your words verbatim. Buddy. You just lied about what I wrote. I said I fought one guy, and then the cops came. While the was, other guys were around, I didn't single handedly fight them all off, you fucking liar. You I got contacted that. by a friend of yours who has known you for a long time. It's okay. impressive the list of enemies you've got. This friend right. claims that you were the one who got your nose broken and were running to the cops. Yeah, and that do you, you have were a police the one report? Who got your ass kicked. Do, you have, yeah, I was, do we have a police report, Matt? Because I will take lie detector test about that too. What is with you and the lie detector test? Because you're accusing me. This is the best way to prove it. Otherwise, I say, no, you're saying I'm in denial. You've just lied. You got caught in a lie about what's in that article. You can look up skinheads against white people on vice.com. I never say I fought off a whole gang. I said me and one guy got at it while they were all watching. And then the cops came. That's all I said. So you lied. You lied to make it look better. I've never gotten you. There's no hot. You will find knock your little journalistic ass off trying to find one police report. I got you. Want, you know what I got from all that? Never had my nose broken. I got uh, I got punched in the nose. Maybe actually that might have. That might have broken it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is a broken nose. I got blood, a bloody nose. That was it. Never got put in the hospital. Never went to the police you about it. lied about the whole Antifa thing recently with your broken when? nose. That was a prank and it was revealed as a prank. That's not the same as a you lie. Think, that's, you, you think that's that a kind of thing is acceptable? You think that kind of thing burnishes your credibility? Like, oh, okay, guys, I, I got I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun because what I was doing is seeing the all I wanted to see bring out the people. It diminishes that say your credibility, okay? Credibility. You when just you lied about an article like I wrote. Means, it you means just that lied nobody about wants an to trust you. If you, you lie don't. like that, you don't know what anybody thinks, Matt. You don't. I don't either. Don't speak for everybody because you're such. You talk about small. You are a small man. You don't. You can't speak for everybody. Okay. I caught you in a fucking lie. I never lied. I challenged to fight those guys again. I have the screen caps of Maddie Valentine, the one that sucker punched me two years ago. I'm saying, let's go again, Maddie, because this. You told this lie about what kind of Iron Cross. You said I called the cops. Let's have a debate about it. He ran. Okay, call me a liar is what's going to fucking get you lots of hell from Jim Goat. I don't fucking lie. And I've suffered throughout my life for you not lying. I could have gone the fucking you lied about the fucking I me content you back in 2012. 12. You lied about that. You, didn't, Matt, you won't produce you know, any this evidence. This is why I wanted you to come, come on in camera so I could stare you in the eyes about it. 
I'm sorry I didn't buy a camera to indulge your whimsy. This happened because, because you're so your broad, on my Matt, time. You haven't man, had a okay? fucking webcam on your laptop for a year, and you're talking about I don't have a house. I have a fucking house. You're homeless. I have a perfectly functioning ca uh, computer. It's a Win 8 laptop uh, that was upgraded to Windows 10. There's no driver mm. for the webcam. So guess Poor what? Matt. I don't. And I a try man without a webcam, a successful entrepreneur. You call yourself an entrepreneur, but you don't even have a fucking camera. The only reason okay. I have a webcam is because I bought it to be on Roosh's stream. I, I didn't have a webcam for years. But everyone does. On their phones, they do at this point. Come on. Matt is destitute. I'm not holding up Matt my phone. Matt is destitute. Too. He's destitute. That's all. I'm destitute just admit it. Hilariously. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just landed Wait, in another country. Are you reading his mind? How do you know he's destitute? Because he doesn't even have a fucking webcam. And hasn't for a year. Maybe he doesn't masturbate on those uh, masturbation sites. I think Matt masturbates probably more than anyone on the planet. You jack, if you want jack off material, go to you porn gay, buddy. Matt, you're really obsessed with gay. The thing is, you know, you no fag, to be no gay, fag, buddy. I can use no that. No fag has ever wanted you, man. I'm so sorry that I'll never get the chance to contract AIDS and, and have my colon destroyed. I'm really sorry about and that. And again, no woman will ever fall in love with you. You're not desirable <laughs> to either sex. Okay, because I had a thing when I was 15, and you probably did too, and most guys, and I'm the only fucking one who's honest about it, doesn't mean you're ever going to be attractive to anybody in the world, Matt. That's yeah, a better Matt's insult than anything you can ever come up with against me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, you know, you know, if you, because it was a good, good line, you know, if you became a Christian, I was like, well, God's perfect, then how do you explain you? Yeah, Matt's either going to use uh, Facebook posts that I wrote in private while I was extremely drunk. I love everybody when I'm drunk, just FYI. Or Do you he's fuck everyone when you're them. drunk? Do you fuck everyone when you're drunk? A look at Did righteous Matt, you? righteous Matt. Did you're I righteous, you? you're a righteous man, Matt. You're righteous, you're good. Everyone can tell how good you are. Tell it to the world, Matt. This is exactly what I was talking about. I'm a moralist, you little fucking wormy guy. You're, did you fuck? Did you do a bad thing? Hey, that makes me a good guy. That's exactly what's going on here, Matt. Why do you have to paint her as bad? Isn't that what you're doing, God? Probably because, probably because she no, I'm saying he's pathetic. Things. That's all. I'm not saying probably bad. Because, never, probably or, because or, she or, broke me in something I had no interest in. Wow. You, you by your 8,500 word blog post invited this, Matt. Yeah, Honest. I admit wow. my role in, in, in facilitating this nonsense. But you know what? Wow. When, I, when this all began, I was 26 and was 39. She is the adult in this situation. When you're the older person, you take responsibility. Trying to slough off responsibility on someone who's uh, young enough to, in, in your words, and be my fucking son is pretty goddamn pathetic. Man, I get an excuse for youth. You don't. Can I talk at some point? Mute, mute us all, Davis. Let her talk. Um, I love everybody when I'm drunk. I don't know what kind of Facebook posts I wrote, a, wrote to Matt when I was drunk. He will use any drunken, happy thing I said to prove that I was in love with him. I also went, because I know how volatile he is, and I didn't want to have my name dragged through the mud. When I realized he was trying to manipulate me into a relationship during the worst year of my life, I tried to assuage his ego by being nice and telling him that <laughs> I was choosing someone else. Matt's not muted. Matt, stop giggling into your mic. Keep going in. I was choosing someone else and letting the better man lose in an attempt to not have this very thing happen. I gave Matt every opportunity to walk out without being humiliated. I was hoping that he would take the hint, but it, it, it kind of blows my mind that he's, I still don't know to this day how he found out where I was moving in Rogers Park after I was, it was an insanely bad year. Just You're a liar, Ann. I moved in there after, before you. I yes, have I don't text know messages how you to managed, prove it. Matt, I don't know how you managed to figure out where I was going to move, but you also texted me that you were staying in Oak Park, hanging around Oak Park, hoping I would hang out with you. 
No, I didn't. I, yes. I went to Oak Park because I would had a in, I, I was in between apartments, and that was the cheapest place where I could go. It was even wow. Oak, Oak, Oak Park is one of the most you, you everyone can look it up. Oak Park has one of the highest real estate values. In the Oak Chicago Park is fifty percent black. Okay. Were you staying in Austin? No, I was staying in Oak Park. Okay. Matt, you and why, your, you and your is, broke ass boyfriend Matt, could live there. So so it's it's fifty percent black. Everyone knows there's a huge ghetto in Oak Park. Person. Look at all the Christian compassion and morality. It's it's not like he's a bitter, bitter person. He's a moral person and he wants the world to know it. Or You're at least through his, no, through his actions. No, I want the world to know. His actions. Just, he's, he's a good yeah. man. No, I want the world to know. And you did that. You're bad. It's, okay, we get it. We get it, Matt. This is you're making my point. Go ahead. It's just bizarre dealing with this level of lying and projection, and this is why I didn't want to be in a relationship with this man. Except I actually that you said to me that you wanted uh, to be, and then you reneged on it because you're such a lush that you can't even remember what you say the next day. That your emotions are that you're on so many drugs, been, and your emotions I've are so melting. But I've never can't. denied any of that, Matt, but I did not want to be in a relationship with you because I did consider it. I thought, and no one will let me finish my story, but I was having one of the worst years of my life. My best friend died. My, my boyfriend kicked me out of the house in order to and this is leaving some shit out because I'm just too tired at this point to remember everything. But my, my boyfriend kicked me out of the house so that he could date a 20 year old girl because he was having a midlife crisis. I wound up staying at my, my, my ex's stepmother, I mean, mother and stepfather's house where my, my his stepfather got into bed with me in the middle of the night while I was looking for a place that was affordable to live. The only place I could find was Rogers Park. When I was moving in, I got a text from Matt or a call. I can't remember. I don't, it was a text. I'm, I'm, I'm not a liar, Matt, so I don't. She said a text put, or a call. What are you snapping at? Put evidence in a plastic bag and shove it up my ass so that I can prove shit that didn't happen by taking things out of context. God, why was I ever, why did I ever try to not humiliate you? I'm such a fucking idiot. Probably because you were obsessed with me and tried to fuck me repeatedly. Just like I'm obsessed with you, right, Matt? I, Everyone's I, obsessed with you because you're so compelling. You, you repeatedly go back to the well on a certain... All yeah. right, I just want to clarify something. Uh, a month after any physical contact had ended between you and Matt... You and I and Matt worked together to help you deal with your ex-business partner, correct? I don't remember this timeline. You guys, you guys did help me, and that was greatly appreciated. But all, listen, I know you had a messy, stupid, ugly relationship. Yes. My, yes. My, no. my girlfriend. Arini, Arini, please stop calling it a relationship. I can I please get through my fucking story? All right, I go ahead. You had a what? What? What do you want to call it? It's a it's a sexual relationship. Fortunately, I don't remember ever having sex with Matt, and I'm not denying that it happened. Just like I've never accused him of rape. I'm just saying other people have accused him of rape. He's accused himself of raping me and bragged about getting away with it. I did not ever press charges because I did not want to ruin someone's life over something that I didn't remember, I wasn't sure happened. And Matt claims to have a text from you saying that you read that article and it made you wet and you masturbated to it. Well, I have a, I'm screen sharing text, uh, I'm screen sharing text right now uh, showing that I moved into M M Rogers Park before Ann did. Look at the time stamps. Yes, here. you this did, Matt, and I don't know how you- You lied and, and said that I was stalking you. You no, said that Matt. I moved in after you and I was stalking you. I caught you in a lie here, Ann. I this did not- you Shut the fuck up for 10 fucking seconds! Jesus Christ, you can't stop running your mouth ever. I never said that you moved in after me. I told Jim that- Somehow, 
you figured out where I was moving before I got there. Or maybe it was a coincidence. As no, you I, it yeah, you know what, how I figured out where you were moving? Because you fucking told me when I asked you. And I was shocked because you had moved on to the same block as me. And I was like, that's weird. Is she stalking me? And you know what? No, Matt. This projection is so You sound bad. like such a moralist, Matt. You sound you don't sound hate filled and bitter and angry. You sound like a good person and everyone around you, like me and her, we're bad people. We're, we're, we're getting it. What's what's if go. you're being lied about, if you're if you're hearing blatant falsehoods, then yeah, getting angry is 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 a natural reaction. Yeah, that's why we're mad at you, Matt. By the way, Arini can confirm that you've been telling this lie to him as well, that I moved in after you and that I was stalking you. I visited you, Anne. You said he moved in after you like he was in love with you and stalking you. I, If I said that, I was incorrect. He moved in before me, but I don't know how he got the information of where I was moving. Let me clarify. This, this, we're going me. way, we're going way off. My birthday party. Yeah, this is nothing. Yeah, this is, this is nothing. Uh, I don't really think – I think this is all immaterial. The yeah. way man told me, it's like he was the, I was so the question I wanted to ask you, Ann, were you planning to move to this place? And he moved in at the time because it could have been a coincidence. I don't yeah. know. He's nitpicking I, about stuff that really is right, like, about great. whether I sent him an email. I, I'm putting a five <laughs> minute. You know what? Go. You got five minutes to talk about Matt and Ann having a shitty whatever it was they had. Can like just like I don't. Well, here's the thing. I don't, I can't comment on it because I won't. I wasn't I, there. Go. Mm -hmm. Does anybody claim that Matt ever raped Sturzinger? Only Matt. Matt, did you ever claim that? Yes uh, or no? Cl claim what? You you cut out there for a second. Did you ever claim that you raped Sturzinger, yes or no? No, I did not claim that I raped her. Okay, and I've read all your posts. I even read that one about you having awkward sex with her. And I don't remember you ever claiming that. So nobody claims that Matt raped anybody. Okay, Matt, Matt, in that archive, that is the thing I read. Are you talking about uh, another girl? Yeah, an article right there that we've all read. He never are you, talk, are you talking about another girl that you've I kept going with? Or were you just lying and, and Goat, talking about an experience that didn't Goat, happen? Goat, only a feminist would call that rape. So I keep going when she says no, I think it's legally rape. rape. You're, a rapist, you're a wife beater and you deserve to be in prison sucking dick. No one said anything. What, what, what is the correlation you're trying to make here? You're he said, I'm asking him. He said... There, there are only hold on. There are three possibilities here. He wrote an article and then deleted it. He said that he deleted it at her request because he was being polite. Goad, if he is a rapist, then you are a woman beater, and you should be rotting in prison, stuck sucking. I'm dick. not. I'm not the one talking about degeneracy. Okay. Oh, so it's so what you're, it's are you saying it's okay to be a degenerate and an idiot? So I'm not saying no because you're bad at straw man. Never. I'm not Try saying that. And change your behavior. I'm not moralizing about other people's behavior. I'm just showing what a hypocritical, bitter little worm this guy is. That's all. Hypocrisy is the, uh, oh, the go-to insult of a scoundrel. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on, Arena. You said the te a, a feminist definition of rape is she says no, I'm in pain, and you keep. That's just a feminist definition, or is that a legal definition? Because I think you made an error, a thinking error there, Davis. No, I don't think I did. Rape is when somebody jumps out of the bushes. Okay, can we stop? No, it's not. It's it's when she says no and you keep going. I think that's the legal definition. You can you can define it how you can have a personal definition, but that is the legal. Holy fuck! I have to keep using the mute button to get a word in on my own damn podcast. Goat. I've had plenty of girls that said. Morini, no. don't use my last name. It's disrespectful. I'm Jim. I've always. And I I've had plenty of girls that said no. I kept going, and in thirty seconds they were squirting all over the place. Okay, <laughs> no, and then there's no. There's two different types of no. Everybody that's sane understands that. Only feminists and male feminists don't understand the difference between no and no, but please keep going. Yes, exactly. And, and mouth no while she was fucking dragging me over to her place to have sex with her and occupying my time. I still have not gotten to the end of my story. Okay, but Anne, isn't the story just the dirty laundry between you and Forney? How is this relevant? He's the one who's been constantly dragging it out. He claims that I've been gossiping about him. I've been trying to clear up the misconception that I dated him, which is kind of the worst slander that you can come up with about someone. I, <clears throat> as, I, as I told Jim the other day, I did feel some empathy for Matt because he's been picked on. I was picked on in high school too. I feel empathy for other people who are picked on. And 
he was clearly interested in dating me. I wanted to get away from him, but I was having such a terrible time. I don't know how he got into the mix after my suicide attempt. I tried to drink an entire bottle and I own all of this shit. I, he's, he's presenting it like it's some revelation about me that I'm supposed to be embarrassed about. I got I into it because, because you asked me to get into it. The reason Matt presents it is because, Anne, when you drank, when you were going, and there was a lot of people shitting on you at the time, okay? When you were going through that, Matt was the person that showed up and walked you to the shower when you, he, he took care of you for a couple of days. And the reason he brings that up isn't to paint himself some sort of saint. The reason it keeps coming up is to point out that, yes, you might have had a lot of bad stuff in your relationship, but you had some good stuff as well. And Matt was there for you when nobody else was, wasn't he? Could I please get through my story? And to confirm, I believe there's a legal document where you do confirm this, but just in your own voice, was Matt, Matt stopped you from drinking yourself to death one weekend, didn't he? Yes, he helped me, but he didn't help me out of pure motives. He expected me to become his girlfriend. And I will ad fully admit that oh, he had a crush on you. He, you were one of his favorite writers, and he had a crush on you, and he was trying to help you. And guess what, men? We think with our dicks. Like I, I'm not saying Corny's a saint. I'm saying he's just an asshole, like every single one of us. What? Why do we have to keep digging up this goddamn dirty laundry? He's oh, someone who's been digging oh, it up all along. I've just been trying to defend myself as I'm doing now, and you guys are just talking. About oh, and I'm you're, you're completely yeah. full of it. Shit time. You and Forney, whatever your, you don't want me to use relationship, whatever your your human connection was, was not healthy and not good and certainly ended terribly, but there was some good to it, and it was not vile nastiness and psychopathy. There was some good to it, but... Can I just tell the story, please? Just, just let her finish. Go Where ahead. Where the fuck was I? I, I? Yes, I drank a large quantity of alcohol in an, in an attempt to kill myself because of shit that Rachel did. Matt offered to help me out. I thought generously. He kind of tallied up every cent he spent on it. Um, Later, when he came back to my house wanting to be babysat during a bad trip, he actually said, you owe me. Um, this was long after I didn't want to have anything to do with him. Um, and you didn't have to I'll I, let you finish. And I did think at certain points, well, I'm 40 years old. My... Boyfriend just left me for a younger woman. Maybe this is the best I can do. Like, he's not good looking, but I can be forgiving. I can be empathetic about his, you know, being picked on and whatnot. But his behavior was so awful. Between just the, the constant manipulation and the telling me and, you know, if, if, if I want to figure out a way to dig up our text. Facebook posts and waste half my life going through them. I can prove this shit too. He would pretend to be neighborly and polite and, and invite me to his birthday party and then present me to everyone at his birthday party as though I were his girlfriend. No woman wants to date someone who presents her I as not, a I did not do that. And every single girlfriend I have, will, will they will write a sworn statement, I have a two inch long penis. Okay, it was eight inches when we were dating, but as soon as we break up, it's two fucking inches. I don't know how that works. It just seems to work. Why the hell are we airing the dirty laundry between you two? Is there a point to this? Because this is ugly and pathetic. Yeah, it's ugly and pathetic. And what's even uglier and pathetic, more pathetic, is that no one will let me get to the end of the story. Well, does the story have an end? Because I think we... What, what's the point of this? You guys were shitty together. My point is, all the insults about Matt being fat or whatever are immaterial to his actual character. I considered dating him, yes, but he 
I was I was on a podcast with him where he would take my research from that I had done previous to the podcast and blurt it all out at the beginning of the show as though he had done the research. He would make up statistics on Twitter to get attention. I was just embarrassed to be associated with this person. And that that post that he claims I masturbated about, I was I just ignored it at the beginning because it was painful to me to read that someone that I had trusted was writing about anally raping me in public while I was at an extremely low point in my life. And I totally admit that I was at an extremely low point in my life. I was fucked up. I don't remember a lot of what I said and did at that point. And my perception is that Matt was trying to use this as a way to get a girlfriend. And he's been, and I even tried, I didn't want to have a relationship with him, but I tried to, I, I should have been straight up and just said, look, you disgust me, get away from me. But I wanted to be humane. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> All right, listen, Anne, is there anything else you want to say? Because you're in a really bad place right now. And I, I this, uh, this is just ugly. This is a, yeah, this is a surreal ending to a surreal week, but Matt has, just, just like he did with Jim, Matt wrote a bunch of glowing posts about my books, praising me, just like he did with Jim, writing glowing posts about his books, praising him, because he uh, wanted... Matt, wait, wait, Matt, did you write an article about raping goat in the ass? <laughs> this is germane to what? Well, I'm trying to figure out how your relationship with Matt Forney is germane to anything. And it was, Goad was the one that wanted you on here. Matt? Yes. He's making demands. My, it's five in the morning, my time. He's the one who got, got demanded that I appear on a, on a stream with him. And for well, some reason, Well, Matt, you could have done it a lot earlier in your time if you hadn't spent all day trying to think of a way to wiggle out of this. I was not looking for a way to wiggle out of this. Uh, you started the whole podcast with a really lame attempt to wiggle a lot of this, which what kind of blew my mind. It was right, like, and a I'm low, low even for you. What else you got to say? What else have I got to say? Yeah. <laughs> Where was I before I was interrupted multiple times? I think you were talking about how you hate Matt Forney and he's terrible in bed and has a two-inch penis and he's fat. Yeah, no, I was talking about how Matt, the, the, the similarity in the situation is Matt wrote glowing articles about both me and Jim's writing and then tried to manipulate us into giving him something he wanted. In Jim's case, it was giving his backpacking tour attention raising his profile as a writer. In my case, it was providing him with a girlfriend that he could hold up to show that his dating advice wasn't a failure and bullshit. When those two things failed, he turned to shitting on both of us. And I really regret keeping my mouth shut all these months while Matt has been shitting all over me because he took that as an indication that he's gonna get away with this behavior and he's gonna repeat it on someone else. And that's why I let myself be dragged into this shit show because I kept my mouth shut and let him get away with it. And then watched as he did the exact same thing to Goad, who has never been anything but pleasant to me. And who and, and I hope things are going to go better for you in the near future. I'm gonna kick you off right now. Thanks for being on. Uh, now, Goad. It sounds to me like you brought on a woman that just got raped the couple a couple days ago and is extremely emotional, vulnerable, who happens to be an ex-girlfriend of somebody you're angry at with criticizing you just to attack him emotionally and drag up his dirty laundry. Why the hell did you bring Ann Sturzinger into any of this? And you, you need to unmute yourself. Okay, the record will show that this, this is the eighth time you've asked me this question. I don't know why you keep asking it. I explained it. What about it don't you understand? I'm going to repeat your answer. 
you say, I brought up this incredibly emotionally vulnerable woman to point out that Matt doesn't care about this emotionally vulnerable woman. Well, I think he does care, but he's trying to defend his reputation right now. And he doesn't know whether or not she actually got raped. He doesn't know if you were making it up. This is a really awkward thing to- Oh, make. I know, I know it, but, but Davis, do, have I ever been deceptive with you to your knowledge? Do you ever feel that I was ever lying to you? I think you're, well, you're being pretty deceptive on this. How? You're bringing a rape victim on who wasn't even raped by Forney. Like, why are you bringing a rape- Forney says she raped her. She never said, this has all been, we're going over the same territory. Why do you say Forney said he raped her? Nobody- no claims that but you forney said it in his own words i'm always i didn't say he raped her i said forney said i'm very careful with my words davis i don't know why you understand i keep clarifying this and you don't understand it forney did I, you ever say that you raped her i did not i okay. read the blog post when it came out i thought it was in poor taste but i never i read it i never said holy shit matt you raped no i i read it and said matt this is kind of vulgar you shouldn't publish this Again, everyone the link one more time to see what I'm talking about. I'm not fabricating. He, he deleted it, but it's still in the Wayback Machine. Archive.is. Please don't interrupt me. Archive.is. Z looks like a little O. TKS. That's all, that's all capital. Capital Z. Lowercase O. Please don't interrupt me. You're, you're Send me the link. I'll toss it into chat. You're not going to read out a URL on my live stream. Now, quite frankly, Goat, that sounds like one of those weenie white nationalists that claims that Roosh raped women. Because one time he said she was so hot that even I don't. Can I talk? I don't. I don't. It's. I'm not taking this from. I wanted to show how he would respond. That's all. I think what happened to her the other night was horrible. I know Matt said if he's I, he's not saying it was some other woman, but he said he kept going with him. I'm not condemning him. I'm showing that he was a degenerate according to his own book, and suddenly he's a new person. I don't really think he had any repentance from what Matt said. He once said that the manosphere to remain relevant must align itself with the alt-right. He island hops from these movements to attach himself. He keeps talking about relevancy. It seems like that's a signal that he's concerned with it. Like I said at the beginning, I don't care if I'm more or less popular than anyone. I don't care about being relevant. I care about writing what interests me. And this is a guy who was three years ago bragging about at least fucking some girl and keep kept going when she said stop. Now he's pointing fingers about all these degenerates and fags and still his fat ass walks around naked in front of guys in Chicago apartments, according to his friend Edwin Oslin. That's what Edwin told Ann. Has Forney made a business out of, of lambasting men who kept going when she said no? No, I never claimed that. This is real pertinent to this, this situation, that's all. So how is he a hypocrite? Who said hypocrite? I said he keeps changing his spots. He, she was brought on. She was. He's a hypocrite in the sense that he's not what he was two years ago, which he wasn't four years no, ago. He's they, changing his spots in that their sense. Belief and they're insincere. That's a hypocrite. That's the definition of a hypocrite. You're calling a hypocrite. Where is the hypocrisy? Where did I call him a hypocrite or insincere? By definition, you described a hypocrite. Davis, you're very angry. I'm, I'm talking calmly. Everyone thinks I'm the hothead and everyone else is freaking the fuck out. Uh, I'm are, asking you direct questions. Well, where did I call him a hypocrite? All right. Where did I call him a hypocrite? And once again, I'm going to mute him so I can actually respond. You described him as changing his position and hopping between popular things about not having intrinsic beliefs, about just voicing beliefs, to be popular that <clears throat> definition of a hypocrite you were i don't know what you think a hypocrite is if i say hypocrite if anyone else says hypocrite if you look up the dictionary definition of hypocrite what you described was a hypocrite that's what you were accusing him of now forney has not made a career out of what us can yeah. I distinguish between hypocrisy and what I'm saying he does? If, if when he was a manister, I think what's hypocritical there is posing as a guy who knows about chicks. Because the world laughed when they saw his picture. This is a guy who obviously knows nothing about chicks. I was con I'm accusing him of inconsistency. If he was consistent with his manosphere stuff, he wasn't a hypocrite. <laughs> if when he became a white nationalist or whatever alt-right, he was talking about white people giving speeches about white people, if he was consistent at that time, he wasn't a hypocrite. If as a moralist right now, he's not being degenerate or, or drinking too much, which the Bible is against, he's not a hypocrite. He's just inconsistent. And that suggests, and, and the, the key phrase is the one he used to remain relevant. The alt-right must go with the manosphere. His own behavior shows that he's somebody who really doesn't know what he believes because he keeps changing it as the tides turn. That's all.
That's not the definition of a hypocrite. That's someone who's inconsistent. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to clarify. You know, it really just strikes me that you hated him for years. I've, no, no, it's it's not that deep. It's I've, I'm like, wow, look at this clown. We've made endless jokes about him. I haven't hated him. Uh, you know, and like Ann said, you look at him and you feel, so, hold on, you've asked me a question. You look at him, you feel sorry. And if Matt wasn't this obvious joke who's self-promoting and changing his spots and very bitter and lashing out, I'd feel sorry for him. I kind of do have a soft spot for underdogs and people that have been picked on. I was always strange. I would have been totally cool to him. This guy's full of bluster and bullshit, though. That's what bothers me. But it's like, okay, this guy I've been mocking and laughing about for years. Like, no, then that gave me a chance to just, I think I've revealed what I intended to. I think my mission is complete here. This is a guy who's very bitter, very shallow, poses a moralist. He's full of shit about that. He's just a bitter person. That's all. I have actually more reason to be, well, maybe not. I've had a lot of happiness in my life and a lot of great times. Maybe Matt's just been miserable his whole life. You look at his face. I don't think I've ever seen him smiling. You look at most pictures of me, I'm smiling. Okay, he accused me of being bitter in that podcast. I think Matt's a lot more bitter than I am. I'm more traumatized probably because I've had a worse life. I think he's more bitter though. And again, I say I think, I'm not accusing him. But from his behavior and the tone of his voice, he's a very charmless and shrill person. That's all. Fifth grade insults. Fifth, fifth grade insults. That's what you got. You you you, you pulled up a you, you dragged a, tra a supposedly traumatized woman out here. She so volunteered. She said, "Please, pretty much not please, but she's like she she volunteered to me. She's like, you can use all of this. I didn't I didn't ask her. I didn't pluck it from her. I made very clear. I asked her. I'm like, you know, I could or I, she wanted me to. That's all. I didn't exploit her. She made it clear she wanted to. And you could probably, the people who see my face when I'm talking during this horrible segment, since she was drawn on, I'm not here to exploit it. I feel really horrible for what happened the other night. And I hope the guy gets caught. That's all I'm saying. And my, my plan was to see how Matt would react. And you know what? If Matt had said, holy fuck, you know what? That's all. You show me the police report. You can tell by her mean how she's acting that it happened. And if you want to challenge that, the police reports and the hospital reports will be produced. Right now, you can see the, wrist, the wristband from the hospital, jimgo.net slash an, A-N-N dot JPEG. But I, I really, when, it, when this happened, it's like I, it, the opportunity was like, here's, what I can sh here's where I can show what a shallow person he is. Because he was more concerned about the high school bullshit than the fact that she just got raped. Uh, he I, called me not I'm sincere. Sorry. I'm sincere and more hardcore and, and more to the fucking bone than you will ever be, Matt. You're so, in other words, go. You came onto my live stream under the premise that you were going to debate Matt Forney, but you had a different motive. Your true motive for coming on here was to get sympathy for Ann Sturzinger for an unrelated rape. That's manipulative and that's dishonest. Her rape has absolutely nothing to do with anything whatsoever, and how I feel about it or how Matt feels about it is utterly irrelevant, and that's cheap. For, for the ninth time, the purpose was to show how Matt would react and offered. And for the ninth time, that was a cheap, emotional, manipulative, sneaky male reaction. You should not have brought a woman that was just raped. I thought you were a moderator. Talk shit about her ex-boyfriend. That was. I, I did what I did, and I think it was effective, and we can disagree about that. But you're not being a moderator. Like, I knew you wouldn't, but you still lost because this has been. we've been more compelling than you two have. That's all. It's sneaky. I'm arguing with the devil right now. The devil. compelling to people who are Somebody said I was somebody Alex McNabb just texted me. He said that someone in the chat called me the satanic Dr. Phil. You argue you believe in the devil, Davis? I believe in you. <laughs> okay, I, well the friend the 50 foot cock in your mouth. Okay. You're being sneaky. You're being sneaky. You're not gay, Davis. For being sneaky. She's sneaky. Come on, own up to it, Davis. Everyone talks about it. You're the one who's obsessed with fags and manliness. Don't go there. I was going to be kind to you, but you're being kind of a little dick here, too. That is being snake she was being snaky. What are you, a Paul Lind? You talk gay. Do you know that, right? You talk gay as fuck. Let's you were the it. gayest talking motherfucker in the world, Davis. The first time you entered my apartment to do that stupid failed movie where you acted like a retard for two years, live streaming about it falling apart. I'm like, wow, he talks gay. So don't talk about degeneracy and what you know about women. Everyone suspects you're gay. Whether that's true or not, I don't care. But don't get snippy with me, Missy.
I accuse you of using manipulative arguments, and your response is to accuse me of being a homosexual. Wait, yeah, yeah you're I, the how one am I manipulating us of being obsessed with being gay, dude? What's this? You're the one who was accusing us of being obsessed with fags and faggotry, and now you're accusing Davis of being gay. I think the well, his voice and talking about fags all the time, I think, sounds suspicious to everyone. I think it sounds very suspicious to me and others I've talked to. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Called <laughs> enunciation. 50, 50 foot cock in your mouth. You talk like you have a 50 foot cock in your mouth. And that's what a girl that I know said. Just just throwing that out there. You can you can think it's manipulative. People can judge in the chat everywhere else. I'm satisfied with what's happened here. Matt has shown to be the snip goad. OK, I'll call you Arini. Like I said, that's disrespectful. Call me by my name in private. You always call me Jim. OK, OK, Arini. How does that feel? Arini. Hey, Forney. I, I usually call him Forney in our private conversations. I prefer Shockingly, we don't give a shit about such things. Don't give a shit about what? About what name you call us, Matt or Forney. I don't care. I didn't ask if you cared or not, and it's really, I don't, care. I don't care that you don't care. So why did you bring it up? How is that pertinent to anything, Matt? You've revealed yourself to be the bitter worm that you are, and my mission accomplished, that's all. You're a fan of mine. I've never been a fan of yours. You can project that I'm obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with making fun at your expense, that's all. I've never thought you were Matt, remotely you talented or effort. interesting. It's not effort, it's fun. You don't know what fun is. Look at your face, like I said, show me one picture of you smiling I've been ever. I've rent-free in your head for years. One the fact picture. that you all this effort is pretty goddamn pathetic. It's like Jordan Peterson blasting some Oh, rain that's, you're so fascinating, Matt. Matt. You're so, subscribers. you are such, fat. you're fascinating because you're such a fucking joke, man. That's all, we've, been, make, we've be, been telling um, jokes about you. I, I made that clear at the beginning. I shouldn't even be important enough for you. I to can't avoid you. You like every, stop listening to my fucking podcast. I wouldn't think that about you every week. Is an example in point. Who the fuck cares who likes whose podcast? I don't, I did, who I don't want you shit. listening to my podcast. I don't I like you. Don't. I, don't I don't like you. Podcast. I you like, the like, it, you like it every fucking I like, week. I like everyone's shit out of politeness. Oh, I've spoken about this publicly. Yes. Oh, that's good, Matt. That's it's good. Called, Everyone it's, it's believes called that. Defeat algorithms. I do the same thing on YouTube. I've been doing this publicly. Which <laughs> is, <laughs> Naked mole There you go again with the go fifth grade bullshit. Go ahead. Party. You never, you, you never ate bullshit. past high school. Oh, Jesus Christ, Matt. Well, compared to you, like I said, you've got a 90-year-old's body. You're going to die of a heart attack within five years. So what's the point about all the ages of Matt? I, I feel like you've never looked well in your life. And that's, that's what makes you such a bitter person. I'm sorry. I don't know any other explanation. You must have been bullied for how you look. And it, and it affected your personality. What, well, what else? Like, go, you just called Matt a bitter person. Well, earlier you said, I never speculate as to what somebody's like on the inside. I only describe their behavior. You have repeatedly claimed to have interior knowledge of Matt's. No, no, I'm talking about his, his mean. I said, I use these words, Davis. Pay attention. Uh, Okay, I said his mean, his behavior. He's snapping. Everyone can hear in his voice. Show me a picture on search Matt Forney. Find one picture of him smiling. One. One. Tacky Theodore Kopoulos, who runs Tacky Matt. Every fucking picture. That guy is slashed off his ass and look, looks like he's had every picture you've ever seen of Tacky smiling. Matt, Matt, even the drinking doesn't make him happy. I, I think, you know, I'm not reading what's inside his mind. He doesn't smile. I think you can infer from that that he's bitter and just the tone of his voice. If he's not, if he's sunshine inside, he needs to realign how it comes off because he seems very bitter to me. Is that better? I don't smile because the average man looks retarded when he smiles. You I'm look like retarded you. just walking out of the... <laughs> you, you can't look retarded out of the crib. You would look better if you didn't smile, go. I, like one of the things I hate, I love America, but one of the things I really dislike about America is how they smile these shit eating grins constantly. Look, I'm taking it. Stop smiling, assholes. If you gotta have a little bit of an asshole smirk like I do. Or that you're thinking about a 50 foot cock. I don't know. I don't know your thoughts. But anyway, I'm oh. talking about Matt. Yeah, I think you are smiling in some. I've never seen Matt looks very unhappy. People can tell someone's emotional state by their facial expressions. Every, gonna, I've always you're seen you're him judge my state based on what? Like a dozen yeah. pictures? You've never uh, every met picture, me. Every person. picture I've ever seen is the same. I make it a point to not smile because I don't like it when people smile in pictures. It looks right. retarded. But I'm otherwise, saying. you're a very happy person. Is that what you're telling us? Because it's not no, coming I through in your voice person. either. I don't claim to be happy. Happy is a fleeting emotion. 
I'm content most of the time. Happiness is something that comes and goes, okay? I don't pursue happiness because guess what? People who pursue happiness end up on drugs or try to kill themselves. It's a you drink, do you drink? Do you still drink? I drink occasionally. How, how often do you drink, Matt? Like once every two weeks. And do you get drunk? Once every couple of months. Once every couple of months. Well, that's, I mean, how's that not a drug? I have... Well, and why are you morally life. judging other... Alcohol, in my experience has been more destructive to more people than any other drug, any other well, that's intoxicants. That's you're, you're moral fagging about people who do other intoxicants while you get drunk. I don't that's drink. That's, that's, a hypo, that's a hypocrite right there. I used to drink far more than I did, and I have more or less stopped it. Basically, the only time I what drink about, What about the like, eating? What about the eating, Matt? Let's talk about that. You're not happy you're stuffing your face then. Why are you eating so much? I'm at the lowest weight I've been in four years. So what, 400? Uh, two, 92 kilograms. 92. <laughs> that sounds a lot less than what it that actually is. About is. Okay. 203 pounds. 92 kilograms of 203 pounds? Yeah, how tall are you? I am 5 foot 10. I'm still overweight, but guess what? How I'm working on that. How many women he's had sex with next? Like, go. Come on, what the fuck's your point here? I think I think the 50 foot yeah. cock thing got you angry. So maybe we should wrap this up, Arini. You know? <laughs> I've, I've been sitting on that line for fucking years and hunter came up with that one thank you hunter she said man he talks like he's got a 50 foot cock in his mouth and that's i think that's hilarious so obviously you're rattled maybe we should wrap this up unless you All think right, they could go uh, somewhere else thanks for being on buddy got okay. lots of news not enough super chats though okay. uh forney you got any uh <laughs> fuck there's a reason i've been dreading this all week well if Anne has been raped, and you know what? Pardon me for not taking a woman at her word directly, particularly someone who has done so much wrong to me. And I'm to be perfectly honest, Davis, I'm kind of disappointed that you kicked her off because pretty was, much everything she said that was a lie or a half truth. But I don't want to try. I get why you did it though. I knew uh, if she has been raped, I, I my sympathy is with her. Having said that, Goat is not interested in comforting a raped woman. If he had, if he, if he had. Uh, if, if, if that was his goal, he wouldn't have trotted her out like a fucking zoo animal. And you know what? I don't. You know, he seems to think this is some kind of kill shot. All it's shown is that, uh, and again, I'm kind of disappointed you kicked him off as well because I want to, you know, I, 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 I have no, I don't care about him. I don't, I'm not intimidated by him or his threats. Okay. It shows that he's a man without principles. It, it really does. Like I said, when he started trotting out the whole Anne thing. Like, his entire shtick, going back to shit magnet, was, oh, I I never take a woman at her word, you know. And, and he was complaining, and I think he had some legitimate grievances there, that he went to prison in part because everyone took the word of his crazy ex over his. Well, we just saw him taking the word of an insane woman over mine, uh, violating that fundamental principle of his own writing. And that's all I have to say about this. The, let, the, let the chips fall where they may. And let the chips fall where they may. Listen, the people that just like entertainment and endless anger, you know, they're going to think that Goad won this because he called me a fag and he called you fat. Ergo, he won. Uh, people that care about character, now, maybe not consistency because we, you know, you get older, you make a hypocrite of yourself. You know, you make a mistake. You're like, yeah, no, that was stupid. I shouldn't do that anymore. And you tell your kids, yeah, don't smoke pot. I smoke pot. I screwed up three years of my life on that stuff. So I guess you're a hypocrite. Well, okay, but at least I have some character out of the whole damn thing. Um, let's well, see. I, I said that this thing would be entertaining, and I'm sure it was. People people thought it was entertaining. That's, what I, that's what I promised about it, and it was. Purveyor of Mercy points that out. There were a lot of ad hominem attacks here. I guess Goad's angry at God. We failed to provide a justification for why he shouldn't be, so he's probably still angry at God. But, you know, we're fags and losers, so eh, he wins. Right? I'm sure he's going to Twitter right now talking about how he, uh, how, how, how you were biased against him, which I'm sure was his plan all along. Oh, probably. The, the fact that he was acting like my buddy and then he just turned on me at the last. Like, he's serious. He's been sending me. Actually, here's, here's something a friend, uh, fr a friend just sent me on regards to this debate. Drawing a much higher plater still jumps your rating a shitload. Or as a Israeli uh, commentator said with regards to uh, uh, the war between the Israeli, the IDF, and the uh, 
and the Hezbollah. If a lightweight uh, draws a heavyweight, the lightweight won. Like I said, Go diminished his reputation by even doing this. Like I said at the beginning, he I, I'm a nobody, and he should have ignored me. The fact that he didn't means that he already took hits for this. Well, just, just like we got a commenter here saying Forney and Davis could not back up any claims made against Uncle Jim. What claims did we make against him? All he did was he claimed that you raped a woman, which you she came on and said, no, he never raped me. He called me a faggot. Um, he called you fat. Well, you, you are kind of fat for him. Well, you're down a lot. You're getting. I own it. Out of I own the fact I'm fat. Yeah. So uh, what claims do we make about him that weren't? That we failed to prove. I don't know. Some people like uh, dialectic, others like empty rhetoric. I like, like I said, I'm sure you all were entertained by this. Well, that was a fun way to spend a Friday night. Uh, guys, thanks for listening. I hope you at least had some entertainment from all of this. Uh, I'm going to go back to uh, hanging out with my dog. God bless all of you. Day is fault. This is Arini out.